What if Goku was raised by Zalama? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. On year 737, a Saiyan was born on planet Vegeta and that Saiyan is no one other than Goku. His name is Kakra since he is a Saiyan and when it comes to Kakra his power level is going to remain the same. He is born at a 5 level power level which is very less obviously compared to other Saiyans. Goku is a weak one. But yes, Goku was born with that level and Bardock and everyone was confused on why his son is so weak but they also didn't have no time to worry about it because they were dealing with Frieza. When it comes to Bardock, Bardock has now arrived right back from his mission as he finished doing what he had to do for Frieza but he saw that the planet was surrounded by Frieza's men and with that he had no idea what to do but he had a very strange gut feeling that Frieza's here to destroy the planet which was exactly what was going to happen. Bardock then went and began setting the course for Goku to be sent away to a remote planet which is not that popular but it has very less power level people in there and that is planet earth. As he began to get his space pod ready and he only told Gine and his son Raditz about where Goku's going to be. As he begins getting ready to send Goku away and from there Bardock and Gine said their goodbye to Goku as he has been now shipped away towards planet earth and while that was happening Frieza went and he destroyed planet Vegeta. Before all this happened, let's go a little bit back to when Bardock was putting Goku in his space pod. While he was busy doing that, two of the gods were busy talking to one another as we go far in the galaxy and it is no one other than Dai Shinkan, the father of all angels has made a very rare appearance as he went and he summoned the Super Dragon Ball. Yes, Dai Shinkan, why have you summoned me? Speak and I'll see what you need. Actually, I'm here to talk to you about some concerns. I'm worried about what's going to happen in the future. Apparently, I had to go speak with Zuno and he has predicted that bad stuff's going to happen in the future. There's going to be two Zenos and not just that. There's going to be a war that's going to wipe out all the gods, including yourself. Is that so? A war that can wipe me out? I don't think so, but... You angels are supposed to be the strongest creations of all time. How would you guys let someone overpower you? I really don't know. I don't really know if what Zal Zuno saying is true or not. But whatever it is, I'm just here to let you know. Since you're also a god, you're one of us. Listen, you are Dai Shinken. You could easily find someone to be really strong and train them. And they can easily help you win this war. And if you need more help, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help you angels. I have an idea too. I'll get one of my apprentices to help you. What? You have an apprentice, Zolima? <laughs> when did that happen? Not yet, but I'm gonna begin searching for one after what you told me. I love to live and I don't wanna die. And if there's a possibility that I'm going to die, I have to look out for myself too. And the rest of you angels. After all, we each need each other in order for the Wellum to continue moving the way it does. You're absolutely right about that, Zalama. Thank you for your word of confidence. I'm gonna go right back to Zeno's world and continue observing. You do what you gotta do, and when the time comes, we will see each other very soon. Take care, my friend. As Dai Shinken has now left, and with that, Zalama begun to fly away, going right back to his realm, but before he can, little did he knew, Goku was being sent away at the space pod, as Zalama was flying right towards the same direction that Goku was, and with that, Goku's space pod bumped into Zalama. Once when it did, Zalama looked at the space pod, as it was completely tiny compared to him, after all, the super dragon is like huge. Goku looks like a little small little ant in front of him. With that, Zalama stared right into the space pod and he saw it was a Saiyan baby and he could automatically see that this Saiyan baby is going towards planet Earth. From there, Zalama has done his research, after all he is Zalama, he knows just about the potential that the Saiyans have and he was quite interested in them at first because 
After all, the Saiyans was known to be the one of the strongest warrior race in Universe 7 that are nothing but fighters, and from there, when Daishiken told him that there's going to be a war coming out, what's the best place to do but make a fighter be your own servant, or you could say, your own student. With that, Zalama then saw Goku as he was just a baby, he had no idea what's going on, so he decided to take Goku with him as he went and they both disappeared into the Dragon Realm. Once when they did, Zalama then come to right where he always rests as he was sitting there and with that, Goku's space pod has crash landed right towards the planet and from there Goku came out and he began to cry like all babies do because Goku has no idea where he's going. Hmm, I see this child. He has a lot of potential, and his name is Kakarot. He's a Saiyan from Planet Vegeta, huh? Well, from what Daishinkin told me, we could sure use his help. And if Kakarot is the savior for the universe, why not? I'm going to place my bet on him to see. I will do everything I can to make this child one of the strongest mortals to ever exist. With that, Zalma saw that Goku was just a baby, so... In order for Goku to understand what's going on, he went and he used his wish on Goku and he transformed Goku into a 10 year old boy. As Goku has now become 10 and he looked around and said, Huh? W what the? Where am I? And what is this? My name is Zalama. I have found you when you're just a baby. I am the Super Dragon and I have used one of my wish to make you into a 10 year old boy. What? You found me? What do you mean? Allow me to explain to him, Super Dragon. Of course, Master. You tell him everything. Let me properly introduce you who I am. My name is Zalama. I am the creator of the Super Dragon, and I am also one of the God Namekian. And I have found you going towards planet Earth, I see, but I decided to make you come here to my world. You, Kakarot, have a lot of potential within you. I have seen that you are a Saiyan, and that you also got the power and the will to be stronger than us God. How would you like for me to train you and have you be on board with us? Together, we will do everything we can to train and make you be one of the strongest mortals because very soon or not, there's going to be a war breaking out and we're all going to die and the only way to survive is with your help. Gosh, that's too much for a child to process. I'm a kid and you wish me to become a 10 year old boy and on top of that, you own this dragon? <laughs> He's no ordinary dragon. He is actually an eternal dragon. He can make any wish you ask of him. And yes, I created him. And I am also working with the angels. The angels? I'm so confused. Don't worry. In due time, I'll explain everything to you. But for now, instead of you going to planet Earth where your destination was, you're going to now be residing here with me. I'm going to get the super dragon to train you. And together, we'll do everything we can to get you much stronger than what you are. That way, you're ready for any war that breaks out. But for that, you're going to need the knowledge of all the three internal dragons. Three eternal dragons? So you're saying there's more than that? Actually, there's four. There's one named Tarambo, but he's not really considered to be a powerful dragon like these. Then there's another one named Shenron. He is on planet Earth. He is the third strongest. Then you got Perunka. He is on planet Namek, and he is the second strongest dragon there is. And last but not least, you got the Super Dragon, who is the god of all the dragons put together. His power is something that no one can comprehend. Whoa! And you created that? Yes, I did. Can I see how powerful you are? Could we probably maybe spar? <laughs> Alright, let's not do it then. With that, Goku went right in his fighting position. After all, he is a Saiyan. It's in his blood to always get excited for a stronger opponent. And with that, Kid Goku went and rushed right towards Zalama. And when he tried to attack him, Zalama went and kneed him right in his stomach, getting Goku to instantly pass out. Once when Goku woke up, Zalama was there, as Goku was really impressed with his power and he couldn't believe that Zalama was this strong. With that, Zalama looked towards him and said, Now that you can stay with me, how about I give you a proper name? Do you like your name Kakarot? I mean, 
I don't mind it. <laughs> well, from what I see, if you were to go to planet Earth, your name could have become Goku. Do you prefer the name Goku or Kakarot? Hmm, I guess I'll stick with the name Goku. That sounds pretty cool too. Very well, Goku. You are going to now be officially the Eternals Dragon Super Dragon Zalama's apprentice. Let the training begin. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku and Zalma has now agreed to work with each other so they can be useful when the war happens as Zalma promised to do everything he can to help Goku to become a lot stronger and train him so that he could be one of the strongest warriors. With that, since Goku has no idea where he was supposed to originally go and he doesn't really care, all he cares now is that Zalma is the one that's raising him, he'll do whatever Zalma asks him since he does look to him as a father figure. Now one thing that is really convenient in this is that unlike inside Dragon Ball Z where Goku went and bumped his head in a ravine and forgot his memories, yeah, that did not happen here. He remembers everything as he remembers that he's been told to go to a planet and eliminate everything but now that has been put aside, not because he cares for it or anything, no, he doesn't care about doing that, he has one big mission and that is to survive for this upcoming war which is going to happen. With that, Goku and Zalma went and they began training with each other as they spent over 5 years training back and forth getting Goku to get a lot stronger. And for that 5 years, Goku was able to learn new moves and learn more about the eternal dragons and everything that he needs to know when it comes to the gods and the dragons. After learning all the knowledge he can from the super dragon, Goku continued to train with Zalma and now he was a full-fledged teenage getting ready to go and continue to learn more power and from there Dai Shinken has arrived to visit Zalama since he wanted to see the progress of what's going on and stuff and when he has come Dai Shinken then saw that Goku was there training as he was busy meditating and from there he looked towards Zalama and said oh wow so this is the apprentice that you have found yes this is the one his name is Goku he is a Saiyan and his power is you can say amazing just sense how powerful he is. I can already see that these Saiyans are really powerful. That's smart, you made a Saiyan to be one of your apprentices. And how about you? Have you found a way to find someone to be on your side or an apprentice? Yeah, I did. But I also found a new one. Oh really? And who's the new one, so you have two? Yes, the new one is yours. What? No way! Goku is my apprentice. I'm gonna do everything I can to train him. I respect that, but as you said, this is the matter with all the angels and even us, including yourself. So let me at least have a few years with him. I just want to train him the basic, then you could do the rest. Trust me, it will benefit all of us. But before we do, why don't you make him into an adult? Yeah, I was thinking the same. Hey, Goku! Yeah? What's up? Come here, we need to talk. As Goku has arrived and with that Zalama told Goku that this is Dai Shinken who is the father of all angels since Goku knows what angels are because he was learning everything from the super dragon Goku was impressed to see that Dai Shinken himself has arrived to see him but not just that he then told Goku that he would like to take him and train him for a few years just to see where he stands and all so that he can be a big help for the upcoming war. Upon hearing the chance to train with the Grand Priest got Goku really excited as his Saiyan blood couldn't refuse to say no and with that he has agreed to go with Dai Shinken as Zalama told Dai Shinken to bring him back exactly 3 years from now otherwise he's gonna come and get Goku himself. <laughs> it's like a competition between the Eternal Dragon and the Angels on who is going to keep Goku. Well you can't blame him it's Goku he is a really gifted child. With that, Dai Shigen has agreed to those terms as he introduced himself to Goku and from there, he took Goku right back to his world. Once when it came to Zeno's world, Goku was overwhelmed as he couldn't believe it but Dai Shigen saw it within Goku and said, I see after training with the Zalama, you are able to have God Ki now. Huh, <laughs> that is the benefit of training with a God. Y yeah, I guess you're right. So you're actually going to train me? That's so interesting. Yes, I am. I just want to see where you stand, we'll spend a few years, but before we do, let's change your clothes, you can start wearing the same Grand Priest clothes like me. 
Oh, oh, awesome! Alright then, let's begin the training! As Goku went and he spent three years with Dai Shinken, going back and forth training with him and he did have to do a lot of chores as usual but his main training was a lot of meditating and then he was able to have a chance to spar with the Grand Priest himself. Normally Dai Shinken would not do this but because of what he has heard from Zuno, he had no choice but to go and train with Goku as they continued to train with one another and from there 3 years has passed and now it was time for Goku to return right back to Zalama as his power has increased tenfold. With that, Dai Shigen has brought Goku right back to the Dragon Realm as Zalama was there and when he saw Goku, he has arrived and said, It's been a long time Goku, and wow, training with the Grand Priest surely got your power to be a lot stronger than it was before. Call me impressed. <laughs> Thank you Super Dragon. Yeah, I did find it really amazing to train with the Grand Priest. But now, I'm ready to continue our training and learn from other internal dragons. Very well. Thank you, Daishinken. It's my pleasure. I'll see you all later. With that, the super dragon went and he continued to train Goku for another couple more years as it's been in total 5 years since Goku has trained and now he wanted to see Goku's power on the display to see how powerful he is. But before sending Goku out into the world to see other mortals, he first decided to go and turn Goku into a full-fledged adult and make him stay at that age for a very long time that he could always be in his prime. As Zalama went and he shined his blast right towards Goku and from there the Super Dragon made a wish to make Goku be a full-fledged adult. Wow! Damn, now with this body I could feel like my power, it could be controlled easily! <laughs> yeah, I know. I could see that you using that child's body was what stopping your potential to come true. And now that you're into an adult form, now this is going to be your clothes that you're going to wear when you go meet other mortals. Are you ready to test out your power? Of course I am! So where are you going to make me go to test it out? And when am I going to go train with, what's his name, Parunga? Very soon. First, let's see. How about I get you fight one assassin? An assassin? Sounds pretty scary, but okay, I'm ready for it. Hmm, <laughs> he is a deadly assassin from Universe 6. Rumor has it he has lived for over a thousand of years, but I can vouch it's not a rumor. It is true. Well then what are you waiting for, Zalama? Send me there. I'm ready to see this dragon or whoever this person is. He's not a dragon. You're gonna be fighting mortals now. Alright, bet. Let's do it. And with that, Zalama went and he instant transmission Goku away to Universe 6 right in front of Hit as Goku has arrived behind Hit and saw that Hit was busy in an assassin mission and he managed to kill his opponent. Once when he did, Hit then looked towards his opponent and said, You should have gave up when I gave you the chance. How sad. With that, Hit turned around and saw Goku and said, hmm? What are you? And where did you come from? Hi, my name's Goku! And I believe you're Hit the Assassin? That is right. And how do you know about me? Well, I don't. But I'm here to strain or you could say fight you. I want to see how strong you are, Assassin. You ready to fight me? Tch, I don't have time to waste. How's this then? You're a bounty hunter, right? If you kill me, I'll give you a good reward. You'll get a lot of money. But if I win, your ass is going to owe me a favor when I need it. <laughs> is that so? Well, I do like to collect bounties, so why not? With that, Hit got right into his fighting position, as Goku was excited to fight with Hit, and with that, both of the power began to overpower one another as they began to power up their key. From there, Goku stared at Hit while he did the same, and now their battle has begun. Goku went and he came right in front of Hit as he kicked him right in his face but Hit managed to go and use his time skip and he managed to dodge it with the time skip and he came and tried to stab Goku in his vital spot but Goku caught it and he twisted his hand as he kicked Hit right across his chest getting to be sent flying meters away. Once when Hit managed to get himself back up, he was impressed to see that Goku was able to do that and said, Not bad, I can see you're pretty strong, what are you? I'm a Saiyan from Universe 7. Oh, so you travel the universe just to fight with me. <laughs> Alright then, it's time I use more power. With that, Hit went and he began to power up his key. As he went and rushed right towards Goku and Goku did the same and the power clashed with one another and they're going at it. 
No, to remember, Goku did train with Zalama and even a few years with Dai Shinken, which allowed his power to be where it is right now, where for Hit, who was pretty much living for over a thousand of years, he was really strong. We all saw in Dragon Ball Super how powerful he was, but in here, Goku was able to hold him off as Hit went and he continued to attack Goku, but Goku continued to dodge it, and from there, Hit managed to go and use his time skip without Goku seeing, and he got him right in his vital spot as Goku fell right towards the ground and he began to hold on to his chest and from there Hit looked towards him and said there's a reason why they call me the assassin <laughs> is that all you got? what? I was only warming up come on Hit show me your power from there Hit went and he decided to go and put Goku in a time prison as Goku didn't saw it coming but Hit went and he began using a lot of weird energy which Goku has not seen before Goku on the other hand went and he powered up his key as he charged right towards Hit but before he can, Goku saw he froze in mid-air as he was surrounded by a white aura key and from there Goku was being pressurized as he saw that he was locked in the time prison. This is my most deadliest attack, it's called the time prison. There's no way you can escape this Saiyan. Now you're going to die right here, a very slow and painful death but I'm gonna witness it through the end. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku was facing a lot of pressure and heat since he is inside the time prison and it was breaking much breaking his body down as he couldn't believe the amount of power Hit had within him. After all, he did live for over a thousand of years, what do you expect? But Goku is also the same person who has trained with the internal dragon, the super dragon aka Zalma and not to mention he has also trained a few years with the strongest angel to ever exist, Dai Shinkan. And because of that, Goku was able to get up just a little bit but Hit went and he began to use more power as Goku saw that Hit was a real deal and from there he he laughed and said, I never thought someone would be this strong but okay then, I guess I have to use my full power too. Let me show you what I have learned from the gods. <laughs> Goku has now gone and transformed into a form which no one has seen before but is known as Super Saiyan God as his power has increased a lot and from there Goku was able to break the time prison and he was able to remove it from him. With Goku transforming to a Super Saiyan God, Hit was shocked and said, What the hell? What kind of power is that? <laughs> oh well, like I told you, I have learned this power from the gods. And your time prison thing is really impressive, Hit. But now let's see what it could do with my power. While Goku has now gone and transformed to a Super Saiyan God, I'm the destroyer world known as Champa. Him and Vados sensed that a fighter from this universe had God Key, as they were shocked to see that since no one is able to have God Key, and because of that, they began to worry just where is this coming from. So Vados took Champa and she began making her way towards Hits and Goku's battle. As they got there in two minutes, while Goku has now transformed to a Super Saiyan God, he looked towards Hit and said, Well then, Hit, are you ready to go now? Let's see what you got. I'm still shocked at your power. Your hair became all red and stuff, but okay then. You may break my time prison once you- Before Hit could say another word, Goku instantly came right in front of him as he striked him across his neck, getting Hit to choke on it and from there Goku kicked him as he got sent flying meters away. Hit managed to go and stop himself as he got really upset at seeing what Goku did but before he could do anything, Goku came right in front of him and he repeated those steps as Hit was completely powerless to do anything against a Super Saiyan God Goku. After all, this ain't no ordinary Super Saiyan God Goku because in the canon we saw Goku had to use Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue to beat Hit, where here he has trained with Dai Shinkan and the Super Dragon which allows him to have a much higher power than what Hit can produce. 
and for that Goku was able to overtake Hit easily as Hit got really mad at seeing that what Goku's doing and from there he decided to go and use more power as he used 100% of his own power. With Hit using 100%, he was looking towards Goku and said, Now that I've used my full power, you're done Goku. Heh, <laughs> is that so? You do know that I'm still using less than my power, right? I'm not even close to using, you could say, 10%. <laughs> I call that bullshit. As Hit came right in front of Goku and he striked him right in his vital spot, but Goku was able to recover that from really easily, and from there he went and kicked Hit on his leg, getting to be off balance, and he went and threw a blast right towards him, as Hit got sent flying meters away. Champa was in the other hand completely shocked to see what he is seeing and said, What? How? What am I seeing? How can he do that? And he has God Key! My word, this mortal is amazing, but where is he from? I have no idea about who he is, Lord Champa. Well, find out, Vados! Oh my god, and if he's from this universe, <laughs> our universe is better than my brother's! With that, Goku chased after Hit as he went and kneed him right in his back, getting Hit to be mobilized and he decked him in his face as Hit fell to the ground and he passed out. Goku was easily able to beat Hit like if he was nothing to him as he easily defeated him with just one shot by using his Super Saiyan God power. But with that, Goku went and he slapped the floor really hard as that fist was a way to indicate to call the Super Dragon and from there, the Super Dragon has appeared. Well, Goku, I see that you are able to beat him. Very impressive. Now that you have passed his training, it is time for you to continue your own training now. Let's go right back. What? The Super Dragon? What the? He's summoning with his paw. Am I seeing this right, Vados? Oh my god. My lord, I believe that he is that rumor that we heard. You know, that mortal who's been training with the eternal dragon you mean that's him so it's true what with that goku and the internal dragon super dragon has now left right back to the universe leaving champov completely stung and vados from there vados saw that hit has got up as he was really impressed with goku's power but champa was also impressed with hit's power and he wanted to have the upper hand since he heard that universe 7 is from the universe where goku's from so he decided to tell vados to make Hit be one of the apprentices of hers so she could train him and help him be at the same level as Goku. From there, Goku has now returned right back to the Dragon Realm, where he saw Zalma came in front of him and said, Very impressive, Goku. You were able to summon the Super Dragon from your hands. I see that all the knowledge that we taught you came in handy. Yeah, I'm amazed too. I thought I'll give it a shot, but I didn't thought it would work that fast. I did not thought that either. You are showing potential far greater than what I expected. I'm so glad you're my student, Goku. We will very easily win this war. And you promise to always be by my side, right? Of course, Zalama, you raised me. I'll do everything I can to help you and beat this war once and for all. Now I'm ready to do whatever you tell me. What's my next step? Very well then. How about you go towards this universe? Across from this universe, there's a very remote planet. It is known as the planet Cerulean. Your race was the one who erased this planet up, but they still got a Dragon Ball stain there. He is Tarambo. I'm gonna get into contact with him and I'm gonna tell him to t give you the knowledge that you need. Well, Tarambo, huh? From planet Cerulean? And you said that they're... What? They were erased by my people? That is right. Well then, okay then, I'm ready to go there. As Goku decided to go and make his visit to where is the planet Cerulean's remaining, where he could go and learn from Tarambo. Once when Goku got there, he then saw the old Namekian that was there who was in charge of Tarambo and from there, the old Namekian looked towards Goku and said, I was informed everything about what happened. I see that Zalama has called me to help you out. Very well, here you go, here's the Dragon Balls. As Goku went and he summoned Tarambo and from there, Tarambo came 
as he begun to train Goku and teach him all the knowledge that he needs. Since he is the weakest dragon, he only had a lot of good knowledge, so Goku had to pretty much meditate and absorb all that knowledge in and try to train with him as he spent a f one year over in that planet learning everything he can and now it was time for him to go but before Goku was about to leave, he saw one little boy has came towards him and he saw Goku and said, Who are you? Huh? Hi, I'm Goku. What's your name? Uh, I'm Granola. Granola? Hmm, let me see if your knowledge works on me, Tarambo. Goku went and put his hand on Granola's head, and from there he was able to see everything. How Granola's family died by a group of Saiyans, and that the Granola was the only survivor of the Cerulean race. Goku felt bad for him as he looked towards Granola and said, How would you like for me to train you? Would you like to be my apprentice? Really? You could do that? Yeah, I can. I'll come get you very soon, okay? Once I've done my training, we'll begin our training. As Goku decided to make Granola be one of his apprentices, and from there, he has returned right back to the Super Dragon. While that was happening, far at a tyrant's world known as Frieza, someone has come to visit Frieza as he has disguised himself with a black hood, and from there, he looked towards Frieza and said, Do you want to be a lot stronger? Huh? Who are you? And how dare you come towards me? I'm not here to fight you or anything, I'm actually your friend. There is something going on. What do you mean? There's a Saiyan who still survived from your blast, and he is going to kill you very soon. Trust me, he is far stronger than what you think you are. And about, and about six months from now, he is going to arrive on a planet called Planet Namek. If you really want to be stronger, I suggest you train. Train for those six months. That way you can kill him, and when you do, you can steal those Dragon Balls from him. Dragon Ball? What are you talking about? What are they? The Dragon Balls are something that where you summon it, you can wish for anything. There's a war that's going on with the angels and God, and I'm going to make sure I finish them all. But for that, I need people on my side. How would you like to join me? I'll give you the power that you need, and you'll be strong enough to kill that Saiyan. Ha! You do know I work alone. But if it allows me to get any wish, just imagine if I could use it to get myself to be immortal. Alright then, you have me intrigued. I guess I'll get myself prepared for six months, you said, right? That is right. If you go right now, you will die instantly. That bastard is really strong. Ha! <laughs> no worries. I'm not worried at all. I'll end that bastard myself in six months from now. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. A mysterious man has arrived and warned Frieza about the danger that Goku possesses. But the one question here is, who is this hooded man? And how does he know about Goku? Something is not up and can he be the one who will start the war? All this has to be answered as Frieza had no idea who he is, but from there he decided to take that guy's warning seriously only because he did not want to have any screw up because if he were to risk it and let's say it is true, Frieza will die. And because of that, Frieza decided to go and set a course to one remote planet where he could spend over 6 months training just like what the hooded man predicted for him to do and with that he has begun setting his course to make his way towards that remote planet. Back at the Dragon Realm, Goku has now arrived as Zalama saw him and said, I see you have found a new student, huh Goku? <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm gonna make him my student once when he's ready, but right now he's not, he's just a child. You know I can help you by making him into an adult, right? It'll give us more of a fighting chance once when the war starts. That's the reason why I offer him to become one of my students. And how about, yeah, you know what, we'll go with that idea. You can make him an adult, but let me first go and train with Parunga and Shenron. Once I'm done training with the dragons, then I can start taking an apprentice. I'm still amazed with the amount of training I've done with Daishinken. The power I have is just unbelievable. I'm so strong. Don't let that get to your head, Goku. And now, before you go towards Planet Namek, how about we do a little bit of more training? You need to understand more about the multiverse and understand stuff that is going to be happening very soon. Huh? Um, okay. 
With that, Goku has now begun understanding more and learning more from Zalama as he did a lot of meditation just so he could continue to learn and gain knowledge when it comes to the Dragon Realm along with the deities. From there, six months has passed and now Goku was ready to go and make his way towards Planet Namek as Zalama has arranged for Parunga to go and train Goku so that Goku can absorb all the knowledge from Parunga too and get all the wisdom he can. With that, Goku has said his goodbye as a Super Dragon went and he teleported Goku towards Parunga which is on Planet Namek. On Planet Namek, Goku has now arrived as he was ready to go and search for where Parunga is and because he is able to sense the Dragon Ball, that is one feature he has picked up from learning from Zalama, he could sense where the Dragon Balls are. He saw that most of the Dragon Balls was already captured at one place as he thought that it might be the one who's the guardian of Planet Namek who's holding the Dragon Balls, but it was not. With that, Goku saw some of the Namekians were dead as some of the villagers were also dead and he got concerned on what's going on on Planet Namek. From there, Goku met with one Namekian who was just barely surviving as he quickly went right next to him and from there Goku began to pour some of his energy into him allowing the guy to heal his wound and then he told Goku everything how an evil tyrant is on planet Namek with his goons and he is trying to get the Dragon Ball. Turns out Frieza managed to finish his training and now he has arrived towards planet Namek so he could gather the Dragon Balls and use it just like what the hooded man told him about how he could get all the Dragon Balls and wish for anything. Frieza's wish is to become immortal so he could kill Goku and anyone that comes in his way and even that hooded guy if he ever sees him. With that, Goku got upset hearing that there's an evil tyrant attacking these innocent lives and from there he began to search and he sensed Frieza's power coming far from the west but he was also amazed to see that Frieza's energy was no ordinary fighter. His power was exponentially high. With that, Goku went and he flew right towards Frieza while Frieza was busy getting ready for the upcoming battle and stuff and from there his scouter began to go off as it broke due to the fact that it couldn't handle the amount of energy Goku was producing and from there the rest of the Ginyu forces scouter went off and it all broke. And as you know it, Goku has now arrived. Once when Goku has arrived, Goku then looked right towards him and said, Hmm, so I guess you guys are a tyrant who was trying to hurt this planet, huh? Ha! And who would you be? Why are you here? Wait a second. Tell me, are you here to get the Dragon Balls just like me? I see you know about the Dragon Balls. And actually, no, I have come here to train and learn with the Dragon Balls, but I see that you're trying to use it for your evil intention. I'm gonna stop you here and now. And who would you be? My name is Goku. I'm a Saiyan from this universe. Oh, so a monkey is gonna stop me, huh? With that, Frieza then remembered that the hooded man told him that a Saiyan is the one that's gonna fight him as he stopped smiling and said, What? You said you're a Saiyan, right? <sighs> so it's him. Lord Frieza, what would you like us to do? Attack, you idiot! With that, Ginyu went and charged right towards Goku, but Goku went and kneed him right in his stomach, getting Ginyu to pass out. The rest of the Ginyu force came and tried to attack Goku, but he one-shot all of them as Frieza was amazed, and from there Frieza got up as he went and he screamed. Okay, monkey, you have my attention. I think you're ready to battle with the Great Frieza. Ha! <laughs> you're the Great Frieza, you say? Alright, bring it on, Frieza. I can't wait to kill you. While when Frieza went and transformed into his final form, Frieza then set an alarm in his world as they all consensed that his power was off the chart, but at the same time, the radar broke because Frieza's energy was too much for it to calculate as everyone there speculated that because it is so powerful, whoever Frieza's fighting, he has automatically beaten. And upon hearing that news, got everyone shook who was against Frieza, aka Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz. As they heard that Frieza's power has increased so much since he has trained for the last 6 months and from there they have regrouped and said, What are we gonna do Vegeta? There's only one thing we can do, Raditz, doesn't your brother live inside this planet called Earth or something? Yeah, I think so, but I don't think he'd be ready for that. It doesn't matter. We're gonna need his help. If there's four of us, we might have a chance. Whoever Frieza's fighting, he's some weak bastard. But if we want to beat Frieza ourselves, we need to be prepared. Let's go to Earth, guys. We're gonna go and get him right now. 
With that, Vegeta, Nappa, and Raditz left Frieza's planet as they took their spacebot and they set a course to go towards planet Earth, which will take them approximately one year from now to arrive on planet Earth. While that was happening, back on Namek, Frieza has now transformed to his final form as he went and charged right towards Goku and he striked him but Goku easily dodged it and from there Goku went and kicked him across his face, getting Frieza to be sent flying meters away. Frieza then got up as he went and charged right towards Goku and he tried to headbutt him but Goku did a backflip dodging Frieza's head and from there he took it by his hand and he decked it as Frieza fell right towards the ground. Frieza got up and said, You're no joke, I could see why the hooded man warned me about you. What? Hooded man? Worry about who? Ha! That's nothing to you to worry about. He's one of my men. And he told me that a Saiyan has arrived and that he might be strong. I'm very sure you're that one. How about I go all out? With that, Frieza went and used 100% of his power as he charged right towards Goku and he tried to strike him but the same result happened. Goku was treating him like child's play as Frieza couldn't land a blow on Goku and from there Goku went and kicked Frieza right in his nose getting it to bleed as Frieza got sent flying and from there Goku powered up a blast and aimed it towards Frieza. Frieza went and he managed to catch the blast and disperse it but it took most of his energy as he began to laugh and say, Okay monkey, you really want to fight me? Then bring it on. Behold my golden form. <laughs> Frieza has now transformed into his golden form, a form which he has achieved after 6 months of training and with that Goku can sense just how powerful Frieza was as he smiled and said, <laughs> looks like this guy's a real deal, alright then bring it on. Before Goku can blink, Frieza has came right in front of him as he decked him across his face and he chokeslammed Goku towards the ground and said, what's the matter monkey, didn't see that coming, I thought that your speed was really fast. Frieza threw Goku in the air as he threw a death beam right towards Goku but Goku managed to dodge it just in a nick of time otherwise it could have pierced his heart. Goku saw Frieza's punches actually hurt compared to his final form as Frieza went and charged right towards Goku and he began to attack him non-stop. Goku saw he was in a pickle as he tried to go and punch Frieza across his face but saw it didn't even phase Frieza as Goku smiled and said, Okay Frieza, I see you went all out, how about I go and use my power too? Allow me to go all out. Goku has now gone and transformed into his Super Saiyan God. You're not bad, Frieza. I never thought that you'll push me to go and use this power, but alright then, let's see what you got. Ha! Oh, I see. So the monkey does have a transformation, but how come I cannot sense your power? <laughs> that is because I have something called God Key. Only deities can sense my energy. Once when Goku has transformed to a Super Saiyan God, far in the galaxy, a destroyer was busy sleeping but upon sensing Goku's power transforming to a Super Saiyan God, he woke up and said, Huh? Whee's? What the? What's going on? Oh, what's wrong, Lord Beerus? Don't you sense that, Whee's? Where is this energy coming from? Ah, it is coming from a planet called Planet Namek. Apparently, a mortal has God Key. Not just any mortal, Whee's. Could it be a Saiyan? I did predict that I'll fight a Super Saiyan God. Is that the one? Hmm, let's see, my lord. Oh, I guess you're right. It is a Saiyan. So the Super Saiyan God legend is true, huh? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make.
Both Goku and Frieza has now transformed. As Frieza has transformed to his golden form, while he was very shocked on seeing Goku's new form, as Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan God. Since this is Frieza's very first time seeing this form, he thought it was just a Super Saiyan as he smiled and said, Ha! So I see the legend is true after all. It looks like the monkey has reached the level of a Super Saiyan they always used to say. I remember Planet Vegeta. The king thought that he was the one who has the power of going Super Saiyan, just like his arrogant son. <laughs> you think this is Super Saiyan power, Frieza? Ha! Please, you're completely wrong. This ain't no Super Saiyan power. This is something that's beyond a Super Saiyan. You can call this a Super Saiyan God. What? Super Saiyan God? What the heck are you talking about, monkey? <laughs> you could say I had a taste of God key, and now I'm able to use it as a transformation. Each time I use this power, you could say I'm using the power of the gods. Are you ready to fight me now, Frieza? Ha! You're too full of yourself, monkey, you know that? Okay then, looks like we'll have to show you the hard way why you deserve to be in the zoo. Alright then, show me what you got. As Goku and Frieza stared at one another, and with that, their battle has now begun. Frieza went and he charged right towards Goku, while Goku did the same, as both their power clashed with one another and they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, the entire planet was shaking as all the Namekians was witnessing a battle between a Super Saiyan God Goku versus Golden Form Frieza. And they had no idea what power they're using, but this, since they could sense Ki, they could sense how evil Frieza is, but no one was able to sense Goku's power except for one, and that is the guardian of planet Namek himself, Guru. As Guru was able to tell that Goku was using a divine power compared to Frieza. And with that, he told all the Namekians to do everything they can to aid Goku, as he is the savior to come and save this planet. Frieza went and he tried to uppercut Goku, but Goku dodged it, and with that, Goku kicked him right in his guts, getting Frieza to gasp for air, but from there, Frieza went, and he managed to pull himself together as he charged right towards Goku, and he striked him across his face, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. Goku then did a backflip, as he saw that Frieza came out of nowhere, and from there, Frieza went, and he tried to go and throw a blast right towards Goku, but Goku dispersed the attack and said, Not bad, Frieza. Despite the fact that I'm using my Super Saiyan God power, you're able to keep up. <sighs> I can see you're still using quite a bit of power, monkey. You're getting me to lose my stamina, but ha, there's nothing my golden form can handle. After all, I did train for six months. I'm ready to do everything I can to defeat you. Be noted that Frieza only trained for six months here, and that is much stronger compared to the canon. In the anime, Frieza has trained for only four months, which got him to get golden form, but here, we made him train for 6 months, allowing him to be much stronger than he was in the canon. From there, Frieza went and charged right towards Goku, while Goku did the same, and again, their power clashed with each other as they continued to go at it back and forth. From there, Goku went and uppercut Frieza, but Frieza went and he tried to strike Goku again, but Goku decided to go use his speed as he overtook that, and from there he went and headbutted Frieza, getting Frieza to be sent flying towards the ground. Frieza then got up and got really angry seeing that Goku was able to hit him and said, No one was able to hit me like that except for my parents, monkey. I see you're the real deal. Tell me one thing, Frieza. Is that all the power you got? If so, you are finished. Ha! I still got more power than that. Let me use 100% of my power. With that, Frieza began to power up his key as he decided to go and use 100% of his golden form. From there, his muscles has become very buff as Frieza was able to now go and use 100% of his power. Okay, monkey, let's see what. Before Frieza could say another word, Goku went and striked him as Frieza managed to catch his fist, and from there he twisted it and he struck Goku back getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. Frieza then chased after Goku as he began to go and repeat it and from there he began to hit Goku non-stop. 
Frieza, after using 100% of his power, proved to be a complete different fighter as he just continued to go and kick Goku's ass, but Goku at the same time was only toying with Frieza. After all, Goku trained with Dai Shinkan and he even spent his entire life training with Zalma and the Super Dragon. This is the least power he has right here as Goku's had to go kick it up a notch and from there Goku powered up his Super Saiyan God power using about 50% of his power and said, you're not bad Frieza, but I guess I'll use 50% of my power since you're using 100%. What? There's no way you're only using 50% monkey, I call that a bluff. <laughs> call it whatever you want, but now I don't got time to waste on you. I need to train with the Eternal Dragon and get his knowledge, so now get out of my way. Goku went and he rushed right towards Frieza as he easily went and striked him and from there Goku began to go and overtake Frieza as he started to beat the shit out of him. Despite the fact that Frieza has used 100% of his power and even trained for 6 months instead of 4 months, Goku was still the superior fighter as Goku continued to go and show Frieza his Super Saiyan God power and from there Goku went and powered up an attack as he decided to go and use a new attack called the Dragon Fist on Frieza which allowed a dragon to come out of his fist and from there he managed to go and deck Frieza right in his stomach getting his entire stomach and guts blown out and from there he threw a blast towards Frieza as Frieza got hit head on and he died right there. Goku using his Super Saiyan God power surely did pay off as he managed to go and defeat someone as powerful as Frieza but Goku was short of breath as he saw that he has took a lot of energy compared to before. With that Goku went right back to his base as he took some time to recover and from there all the Namekians came to celebrate with Goku and thank him as Guru wanted to see Goku. Goku went and visited Guru, Guru was very impressed with Goku and he couldn't believe that Goku was actually raised by a dragon and is the super dragon nevertheless since he said he has heard myth about it. From there Guru had to go and help Goku out as he went and unleashed some of Goku's potential and from there Goku went and he summoned Parunga allowing Parunga to come out and now Goku began doing his training with Parunga as he spent about 6 months training with Parunga non-stop learning all the knowledge and everything he needs to know when it comes to the dragon. He has already trained with Tarambo and now he finished training with Parunga as Goku decided to go say his goodbye to all the Namekians and instead of going right back to the dragon realm he decided to go and make his way towards planet earth since that is the next place he needs to go. From there Parunga decided to go and send Goku there as he wished him luck on his upcoming training and now he has teleported Goku on planet earth. We go right on planet earth as Goku has now arrived and saw that the planet earth was actually a very peaceful planet. The Pilaf gang did try to go and use the Dragon Balls like they did before, but this is where Master Roshi and some of the Z Fires who came to train with Roshi and decided to do whatever they can to protect earth came in handy and since Goku didn't go to planet earth, Grandpa Gohan was alive and therefore he was part of the Z fighters doing everything they can to make sure no one comes to hurt planet earth. But once when Goku has arrived, everyone was able to sense a huge power coming as they couldn't believe what they were sensing and from there, Master Roshi came along with Grandpa Gohan to confront Goku and said, Ah, uh, who are you? And why is your power so big? <laughs> well hi. My name is Goku, actually I'm here to do some type of personal training. Personal training? What do you mean? Well, let's just say I'm a type of guy that trains with dragons? Did you say dragon? My god, and your name is Goku? Well, hi, welcome to Earth. With that, Goku decided to go tell everyone who he is as he told that he is a Saiyan who is searching to search with dragons and train with them as he's already trained with the dragon on the Mekin. They had no idea what Goku's talking about as he couldn't believe that there's other Dragon Balls out there in the universe but from there they decided to go and take Goku towards the Dragon Ball which Kami had in his possession. Goku went and made his way towards Kami's lookout as he talked with Kami for the very first time and Kami couldn't believe what he was sensing as he could sense that Goku has got key and he was impressed to see that Goku is training with the dragons. He could sense that Goku has already talked with few other dragons. With that Goku asked Kami's permission if he can use Shenron so he can train with them as Kami decided to give Goku the Dragon Balls and from there Goku went and he summoned Shenron. Once when he did, Goku then told Shenron everything which the Super Dragon told Goku and now Shenron decided to go and train Goku and help him out. While that was happening, let's go a little bit back when Goku was fighting with Frieza. 
Vegeta and the other Saiyans were making their way towards planet Earth since they wanted to go and confront Goku and get him to help them, but they weren't able to make it to planet Earth altogether. Once when they all got their spaceships set up, they didn't set a course to go to, towards planet Earth as their space pod began making a course towards there, but during their course, someone has intervened as one man with the hood has arrived right next to Vegeta's space pod and he stopped it from moving. Vegeta got concerned and said, what the hell is this? What are you doing? Hmm, so you are Vegeta, the prince of all Saiyans. What an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Prince of all Saiyans. You know me? Well, what the hell are you doing coming near my space pod? Do you want to die? <laughs> if you think you could kill me, how about you try it? Very well then, I'll destroy you where you stand. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Tuh! You're an idiot if you think you can beat me! I'll destroy you where you stand! Is that so? How about we come and fight over here? As Vegeta saw that the hooded man went and he snapped his fingers and from there they all has arrived to a devoted planet. A planet that has been empty because all the population has died due to the fact a virus broke out in this planet and they decided to use that planet as their fighting base. With that, Raditz and Nappa came out of the space pod as they had no idea what's happening and from there they looked towards Vegeta and said, Hey Vegeta! What the hell's going on? Vegeta, is everything okay? And who is this guy? Huh, <laughs> this idiot wants to fight with us, boys. Do you think he could take on a pair of Saiyans? <laughs> think? Nah. I could easily kill you guys where you stand. Is that so? Well then, let's show them who we are! With that, Vegeta, without wasting any time, went and rushed right towards the hooded man as he punched it right in his face but saw it did nothing. Nappa went and charged right towards him as he powered up a blast and aimed it right towards him. The hooded man went and blocked Nappa's attack like if it was just child's play. Raditz was shocked to see that the hooded man was this fast and strong as he decided to go and help out and from there Raditz went and powered up a double sundae and aimed it towards him but the hooded man went and dispersed the attack and said, You guys are so weak. Is that all the power you got? <laughs> and what's your guys plan? Let me guess, you want to go to planet earth to get that saying that's there, Kakarot, right? <gasps> how do you know about Kakarot? And how do you know about our plan? Are you psychic? <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. All you need to know is I know everything. And if that's the case, how about if you beat me, I will allow you to go there and even show you where the Dragon Balls are. Dragon Balls? What are that? Hmm, once you get your hands on the Dragon Balls, you could wish for anything. Imagine an immortal prince of all Saiyan. You'll be the strongest one to ever exist. That does sound good. Alright, fine then. Nappa, Radis, let's go transform. With that, Vegeta, without wasting any time, went and he shined the blood wave as Nappa, Vegeta, and Radis began to go and transform into their great ape Uzaru. Okay then, you want to fight us? It's time we kill you right here, you pathetic weakling. You have no idea you're fighting with the Prince of All Saiyans. Ha! <laughs> More like the Prince of All Porcupine, have you seen yourself in the mirror? You weren't able to come near me. Ah, I heard enough! Shut up! Vegeta, let's kill this bastard! Who's he think he is? With that, Vegeta went and charged right towards the hooded man as Nappa and Raditz did the same and from there Raditz went and used his tail to whack him, getting to come close to Nappa while Nappa went and he tried to pick him up but he instantly disappeared from Nappa's hand but he ended up on Vegeta's hand. Vegeta got him and said, <laughs> I have got you now and now I'm gonna crush your fragile bones and everything and even eat you when I'm done. 
With that, Vegeta began to go and squeeze the life out of the hooded guy but saw that the hooded guy easily went and he turned transparent as he came out of Vegeta's arm and said, You are too weak. Now let me show you guys your place. With that, he just went and threw his hood up as Vegeta saw Raditz and Nappa tail got cut out and they both went right back to their ape form, back to their Saiyan form and they passed out. What? Nappa? Raditz? What did he do? How was he able to do this? What the? It's like I didn't see it coming, he's so fast! Who the hell are you? I am the one who's gonna kill all the Omni King and the Angels and even the dragons. It's time you die right here. With that he came and took Vegeta by his face and he smashed it towards the ground as he cut Vegeta's tail and Vegeta reverted right back to his base and from there he went and kicked Vegeta right in his ribcage getting to shatter and he passed out. I don't want to kill you right here. Instead, I have an idea for you. I'm gonna take you with me. Your friends could go with their mission as they please. As he went and he snapped his finger and with that Nappa and Raditz went right back inside the space pod and the space pod continued its course towards planet earth while he went and took Vegeta with him and he disappeared. With that back on planet earth Goku met with Shenron as Goku continued to go and train with Shenron and after he has fully finished training with Shenron he spent about 6 months doing his training. After 6 months Goku was able to now fully go and meditate and have Shenron Super Dragon, Parunga, and Tarombo on his side. They'll always be there to guide him and help him whenever he needs help. <laughs> wow! So it looks like all of you guys has come here, right? Cool! Well, yeah. We are your conscience. Whenever you need us, Goku. Just summon us like this, we'll always be here to help you. He is right. Anytime you need help, feel free to summon us, Goku. We are always here to help you and have your back. Well, Goku, I am glad you have learned everything with these dragons, and now that's everything I could train here. How about you continue to live your life here? This is a place you were supposed to originally be sent. It's time you live here and adapt to this world and become its savior. But when the time comes, I'm gonna get you, and we will fight for this entire universe. Wow, so I guess this is goodbye, huh, Super Dragon? Well, I'm always gonna come visit, because I want to spend some time training with you and Zalama. You are more than welcome, you know that Goku, but yes, this is farewell for now. Enjoy your life here, meet these new friends, and begin your journey. Goodbye, my friend, and whenever you need us, you can always summon us, the way you did today. As all the internal dragons has now left, right back to the dragon realm. With that, everyone was shocked to see that Goku was able to meditate and summon all the four dragons, but they weren't able to see it, only Goku could see it since it's all in his mind. From there, Goku has thanked everyone as he had nowhere to go, but from there, Master Roshi told him to come to his place and live there if he wants, as he's more than welcome. Goku decided to accept his offer, and before leaving, Goku saw another Namekian that was next to Kami, as he was confused on who he is, but they told him that was Piccolo. Inside his timeline, Piccolo wasn't evil. Kami was able to separate himself from Piccolo, but after doing so, Piccolo saw the light and he came towards Kami and now both of them are the guardian of planet earth and when sh push comes to shove, they'll always just go and fuse with one another that way anyone that wants to fight with them will have to fight with the super Namekian. But right now Piccolo is there by Kami's side learning everything and doing everything he can to help out being a guardian of planet earth. Once when Goku came to Master Roshi's place, we're gonna switch the things up from here. Goku saw that Launch was there as she was kind of a housemate for Master Roshi, but whenever she sneezes, she becomes a complete different personality. And with that, she sneezed and she has become to her dangerous side, but she really had attraction towards Goku as she saw that Goku was some type of hottie and at the same time, Goku is a Saiyan. They love strong women. When Goku saw that Launch was that powerful, he was like, <laughs> damn, you're a strong woman. Well. How would you like to train with me some days? I would love that. As Launch and Goku began to go and have a little, you could say, fun type of sparring since there was no one that really on Goku's level. And from there, Master Roshi decided to show Goku everything as he met with Bulma, who is part of the friends with Master Roshi and everyone. And from there, he went to Capsule Corp where she held a party and for everyone was there to welcome Goku to their gang. Yamcha was there, Tien was there, 
And with that, Goku went with Launch, and as you can know it, Goku's and Launch relationship kicked up a notch. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of always making Goku and Chi Chi together, Goku Boma. We're gonna make it Goku and Launch. As both Goku and Launch had attraction to one another, and from there, Goku offered Launch if she would marry him, as she said yes, and Goku said to go and marry with Launch, and now they have settled down. While that was happening on Earth, Far in the galaxy, a destroyer has woken from his slumber upon sensing Goku's power as he looked towards his attendant and said, Wheeze, so tell me, where is this Super Saiyan God now? Well, according to my staff, my lord, he went to a planet called Planet Earth. Planet Earth? What is he doing there, Wheeze? I have no idea, but that's the planet he is now at. Is that so? Well then, how about I go make my way towards this Saiyan? I want to see how strong he is. Well, we could do that, my lord. After all, he I'm very curious myself on who is this mortal. Ha! Forget that, brother! If you go there, he'll kick your ass! <sighs> Champa! What the hell are you doing in my world without being uninvited? I'm actually here for that mortal! He came to my universe and he beat the crap out of Hit the Assassin! I decided to make Hit be the next destroyer, so I'm going to training him, along with Vados! I'm pretty sure if those two had a rematch, Hit might be the one to win! Wait, wait, wait. You say you fought with this mortal? Well, I didn't fight with him, but I saw his power! And <laughs> definitely he'll kick your ass if you fight him one on one! Is that so? Now I'm more curious to fight with this Super Saiyan God! Looks like my prophecy has come true! Wheeze! Let's go to planet Earth! I wanna see this Super Saiyan God! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. On Earth, it has been a few months since Goku has arrived and he even managed to marry Launch. Since Goku was moving with his life really fast and him and Launch had an interest in one another, they finally settled down as Goku managed to even get Launch pregnant and he will be having a kid very soon. Goku then began to enjoy Earth as it was his first time ever living in such a beautiful planet and with that he began to see all the delights that Earth had, especially when it comes to the cuisines. Goku is a Saiyan and he couldn't stop himself from eating all the best food that he can find. Bulma and everyone continued to enjoy Goku's company as they couldn't believe how powerful he is and at the same time they were amazed to see that they don't need a dragon radar around Goku. Goku can magically go and pick the sense of where the Dragon Balls are and take them instantly there. As Goku continued to make more friends on Earth and continued to live his life there as an Earthling. One day, Goku decided to go to Kami's lookout where he saw Piccolo and he was interested to have a sparring match with Piccolo. Although Piccolo didn't stood a chance against Goku, he did still go and spar with him as Kami told him that those two can go together and train in a place called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. Goku had no idea what that is but this was his very first time ever experiencing the hyperbolic time chamber and he spent about 2 days which equals 2 years training inside that room with Piccolo as he came out and he was impressed to see just how amazing that room is. With that Goku then went to Boma's place along with Piccolo as they all had a big feast and they continued to enjoy their life and while that was happening one day Goku was just sitting there sparring as he was getting ready to go and have another fun match with Piccolo but from there he got some senses coming as Zalama spoke to him and said, Goku, can you hear me? Zalama? Is that you? <laughs> yeah, what's up? Well Goku, I could see you really settled down, huh? How are you enjoying your life on Earth? Oh, I love it. It's amazing. Well, before we continue our conversation, there's something you need to know. Beers the Destroyer is coming towards you. Beers the Destroyer? Wait, you mean that Destroyer God that you told me that's inside this universe? That is right. He is coming to fight you. He has seen your battle with Frieza and he could sense that you have God Key. And now he's curious to see where you stand against him. Really? So he wants to fight me? Well, I'm not worried. I did train for two years in a room. I know, I know everything about that, the hyperbolic time chamber and everything. But just be on alert, Goku. When he comes, try your best to watch out. And if things come to worse, I'll come to help you. Huh, <laughs> no need for that. Thank you so much, Zalama. As Goku was now alerted that Beerus the Destroyer is coming towards planet Earth and he wants to fight with Goku. 
while Goku is getting ready for Beerus to come. Goku then began to sense two space pod has now arrived on planet Earth as it crash landed and from there he went to check it out and once when he got there he saw two Saiyans has emerged out of the space pod. With that Raditz and Nappa were the one who has arrived on Earth as they were surprised to see Goku standing right in front of them. At first Raditz thought that was Bardock but then he noticed that he was on planet Earth while Goku looked towards him and said, who are you guys? Kakarot! I can't believe we found you! My name is Goku, not Kakarot. And tell me, what are you guys doing here? I can see by your tail you guys are Saiyans. Hey Raditz! Where the hell is Vegeta? I don't see him here! Yeah, I don't either! Last time I remember we were fighting that hooded guy and now we arrived on planet Earth! Hooded guy? What is this hooded guy? Frieza mentioned about him too. <gasps> Frieza! Wait! Kakarot! You mean you know who Frieza is? Well yeah, I'm the one that killed him on Planet Amic. What? You killed Frieza? No way! Are you serious Kakarot? You killed Frieza? Tell me who are you? Well my name is Radis and this is Nappa. I'm your brother Kakarot. Your Saiyan brother. We are actually real brothers? Yes that is right. Goku had some thinking to do as he couldn't cope with the idea that his brother is alive and that he has a brother. But from there he didn't have much time to react because Goku was able to sense a very powerful key coming towards him and he knew right there and then it was no one other than Beerus the Destroyer. But Goku got worried as he could sense two Destroyer key coming towards him and he also could sense some weird presence of two other people or two other beings he has no idea what they are. As he looked towards Raditz and Nappa and said, Okay, I don't have time to talk to you guys right now. I got some business. There's a god here that's gonna come to fight me. A god? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? With that, Beerus has now arrived to planet Earth. As he looked towards Goku and said, Ah, so this is where you've been resigned this whole time, huh, Saiyan? I know a lot about you. Especially the fact that you are a Saiyan with God Key. So you know who I am, huh? And I suppose that makes you Beerus the Destroyer. Hmm. And how do you know about me? I've been alerted by the Super Dragon Balls. What? The Super Dragon Ball? Hmm, how weird. Could it be the one that Father mentioned? How Z Zoloma was able to find someone to train with? But could it actually be him? Is he the one? <laughs> Brother! That's the guy! Hey wait, I know you! You were watching my battle with Hits! Aren't you from Universe 6? What are you doing here? Okay, say it. You know a lot too much about us. Speak. Who the hell are you? Hey, who the heck am I? You're the one who came to my world and now you're here to fight me, according to what the Super Dragon Ball told me. So you wanna fight me to see where I stand against you, huh? <laughs> Very well then. I guess you're already prepared for me, huh? Well then, Saiyan, i like for you to go all out and see what you got against me. Alright then, if that's what it takes to make you get out of my planet faster, I'll do it! Without wasting any time, Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God, as Beerus and Whis along with Vados was shocked to sense his power and see it, while Champa was already alerted by his power since he witnessed it against Hit, but Vados noted that his power is far greater now than it was against Hit, as Goku looked towards Beerus and said, well Beerus this is my power, let's see what you got, <laughs> not bad Saiyan, Be before Beerus can say another word. Goku already came right in front of him and he striked him across his face, getting Beerus to be sent flying meters away. Raditz and Nappa had no idea what they're witnessing as they're extremely shocked to see that Goku has red hair. With that, Raditz and Nappa were completely stung and shocked but Beerus got up as he charged right towards Goku and Goku did the same and both their power clashed with one another and they were going at it back and forth. <laughs> B 
Beerus went and he tried to hit Goku, but Goku instantly dodged it as he kicked Beerus across his face. Beerus then went and he tried to hit Goku again, but Goku easily dodged all of his hit like if Beerus was nothing. And from there, Goku looked towards him and said, Tell me, are you really a destroyer? I never imagined for you to be this weak. <laughs> you're very cocky, Saiyan, and I must admit you're very strong. Well, of course, I am the mortal who has trained with the Super Dragon. So it's true, huh? Whis told me that there was a mortal that trained with the Super Dragon Balls. I guess that's you. And not just that, I had the privilege to train with even Dai Shinkan. What? What did you say? What? Wait a second, your presence. It feels a lot like Dai Shinkan's presence. Well, that's because I'm an angel, but did I hear that right? Did you say you trained with my father, the Grand Priest? Well, yeah. He trained me when I was a little teenager, you could say. We spent about 8 months training. My word. Father never told me about training with you. Wait, so you know Dai Shinkan? And he's your dad? Hey, focus on me, Saiyan. With that, Beerus went and strike Goku, but Goku caught his fist and he twisted it. And from there, Goku decked Beerus right in his stomach, getting it to gasp for air. Beerus then smiled and said, Okay, Saiyan, I guess that using my regular power won't be enough. How about I use just half of it? With that, Beerus went and he powered up his destroyer key. Alright, Saiyan, it is time I hakai you where you stand. You may train with the Grand Priest, but I have been living for over billions of years, and I am ready to kill you where you stand. Whoa, what happened to a friendly fight? It transformed to killing me? Okay, Beerus, if that's what you want, then bring it on. As Goku went and powered up his Super Saiyan God power. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku and Beerus are now using their full power as Goku powered up his Super Saiyan God key to its fullest while Beerus went and he used his destroyer key. Once when he did, he then looked towards Goku as Goku did the same and both of them were ready to go and prove between the two who is the stronger one. Beerus who is known to be the strongest destroyer as we're gonna go with the manga Beerus when it comes to this what if or Goku who is known to be one of the strongest mortal who has trained with the Super Dragon Ball and even its creator Zalaman nevertheless and not to mention he even got the pleasure to train with the Grand Priest. With that Goku stared towards Beerus and said alright Beerus I hope you're ready for this next round. <laughs> I've been ready Saiyan. I cannot wait to see what kind of power you got. After all, you made me use my full destroyer key. I just want to let you know I still got more power than this. Well, I'm not holding back anything either. Well, maybe just a little bit. But who, who knows, maybe I might need to use it against you. Whatever it is, I'm ready to use everything I got, just to win. As they stared at one another and with that, their battle has begun. Goku went and rushed right towards Beerus as Beerus did the same and both their power clashed at one another and with that, they started to go at it. With each landing blow, the entire universe was shaking as Goku and Beerus managed to go and attack one another but with each impact, it was creating a huge shockwave across the universe since it is a battle between a destroyer and a powerful mortal with, you know, God Key. He has the same God power as Beerus, he's not a destroyer but he does have God power. With that, Goku went and strike Beerus across his face while Beerus went and kicked Goku back and they kept this up for some time. Whis on the other hand was impressed as he continued to watch the fight with Goku and Beerus and from there, Whis then saw that Dai Shinken has arrived as both him and Vados was very shocked and from there they bowed down and said, Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you again, father. Likewise, Whis. But father, can you tell me one thing? What is it, Vados? Did you really train this mortal? <laughs> yeah, that's actually one reason why I'm here. I didn't believe that until I've been told that Goku's fighting with his destroyer. I gotta see just how powerful he has gotten. If Goku's able to beat Beerus, my prediction's coming true. 
and he will be the one to help us in this big war. Wait, so it's not a myth! Ka Goku is actually the one who trained with the Super Dragon Ball father? And you think he could be the one to help us save this war? I definitely do. But let's see how this battle goes, Whis. With that, Goku and Beerus continue to hit one another, as Beerus went and he powered up a Hakai wave and he tried to aim towards Goku, but Goku managed to go and learn a new technique thanks to Master Roshi during his time on Earth as he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right towards Beerus. The wave went and hit Beerus head on as Beerus tried to go hold it off, but he couldn't and from there he got pushed a couple meters away as he got hit by the blast. From there, once in a small clear, Beerus went and catched his breath and said, not bad, Saiyan. I cannot believe you're this strong despite the fact that I'm using my full destroyer power. You're still able to push me this far. Well, I must admit, you really are probably the strongest being I've ever fought before, but I still got a lot more power within me. Hey, brother! You're making a fool out of yourself! Let me fight him! <laughs> Lord Champa, please, shut up. Who are you kidding? We both know he'll easily one-shot you if you were to fight him. Beerus is the only one who has a chance. Uh, Vados? You don't have to go all full out on me like that! Well then, I'm sorry for my annoying ass brother, but where were we saying? Alright, I remember. With that, Beerus quickly went and instantly came right in front of Goku as he tried to headbutt him, but Goku went and headbutt him back, and with that, both of them created a shockwave, headbutting one another. With that, Beerus got angry that Goku continued to counter all of his moves, while Goku decided to go and use 100% of his Super Saiyan God power. Before he can, Beerus went and started to throw a lot of ki blasts towards Goku, while Goku began to go and dodge all of them, but some of them were hitting his body, as it was a lot of ki blasts at once, Goku couldn't really keep up, and because of that, his gi got torn, but from there, Goku decided to go and power up to 100%. Alright Beerus, you want me to use 100% of my power? Alright, then you're gonna see just how powerful I am. Goku, using now 100%, went and charged right towards Beerus as he strike him across his face. Beerus got sent flying meters away. Beerus didn't manage to stop himself and when he chased towards Goku, Goku was already there as Goku went and he kneed him right in his guts, getting Beerus two gaps for air. With that, Goku went and followed with another deck as he punched Beerus right in his throat, getting him to be sent flying high in the air and from there, Goku went and threw him right towards the ground. Everyone was completely shocked on seeing that Goku was able to handle Beerus the way he is, while Raditz and Nappa had exactly no idea what's going on whatsoever. First, they cannot even sense anything, and on top of that, Goku and Beerus is going with new type of power and new heights, which these mortals have never seen before. Yeah, it's too much for them to comprehend. I don't blame them for being all surprised and shocked. But Goku was staring at Beerus as he noticed that Beerus slowly took his time to get up. Champa was nervous to see that, and once when Beerus did, he then looked towards Goku and said, Not bad at all, Saiyan. I never thought that I would have to use more power. But you know what? You're stronger than me in this state. Hmm. <laughs> I know I am. I just said in this state. Huh? What do you mean? You saying you have more power than this? Oh, I definitely do, Saiyan. No way, you're bluffing. Well then tell me if I'm bluffing with this. Beerus has now gone and used 100% of his power, which allowed him to now go and tap into his Ultra Instinct. The last time I used his power, I managed to beat 4 destroyers at once, and now you're gonna be fighting with me. Are you ready to lose, Saiyan? I must congratulate yourself, you pushed me to use my Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct? What the? His power? It's amazing! So this is what like to fight a god, huh? Alright then, um, before Goku could say another word, Beerus instantly came right in front of him as he strike Goku across his face but Goku didn't see it coming. That's how fast Beerus was as Goku got sent flying meters away. Goku then crashed towards the rocks and once when he got up, he then saw that Beerus was already there as Beerus looked towards him and said, What's the matter Saiyan? Couldn't keep up with my power? What? No way! Beerus went and kicked Goku right in his guts, getting to be sent flying high in the air and now they took this battle out of space. 
with that Goku charged towards Beerus as he used all the power he has within his body and he tried to strike him across his face but when he did, Beerus let Goku hit him as Goku punched him and saw that punch did nothing to Beerus. Beerus then looked towards him and said, how sad, you're really the mortal who trained with the super dragon and even died Shinken and yet you cannot land a blow in my ultra instinct. I'm really disappointed in you Goku, here I thought that you would be actually the one to beat me in this state, but you're not. What? I hit you with everything I got, but it did nothing! That is because I'm holding back a lot of power, Saiyan. I told you, you never stood a chance from the start. With that, Beerus charged right towards Goku as he retaliated and from there he began to go and beat the shit out of him. No matter what Goku would do, as many times as Goku went and tried to hit Beerus, Beerus would counter it and attack him back as he continued to go and punch Goku non-stop. Goku saw that no he was completely powerless to do anything towards Beerus as he decided to go and power up a major Kamehameha wave which pretty much took out all the power he has within him and he aimed it right towards Beerus. Beerus saw the wave come right towards him as he went and he powered up a massive Hakai Blast. With that, he went and unleashed the Hakai Blast right towards Goku's Kamehameha wave as a Kamehameha wave got eaten by Beerus' Hakai wave and from there Goku was shocked to see that as the blast came right towards Goku and it couldn't eat him too. Goku went and he caught the blast as just trying to push it away and if he failed to do so, he and planet Earth would all be destroyed since he is right next to Earth and Beerus aimed the blast right towards both of them. Goku tried to do everything he can to hold it off as Beerus' blast was too much for him and he began to scream in pain as he can feel his hand and everything being completely useless and that he couldn't feel anything. With that, Goku heard voices in his head and said, Goku, do you need my help? I'll come and help you. Solomon? Yes. Let me know and I'll do it. No, I think I got this, but he's too strong. Goku, remember your training. Remember the power you once almost used during our recent spar. Oh, that. Yes, that is your true power. Come on, Goku. Use it. Come on, Goku. You got this. Yes, Goku. You got this. We all believe in you. If Beerus wins, you have done all that training for nothing. We believe in you. With that, the blast got dispersed as Zalama intervened and he came to help Goku just with this by destroying the blast away. And when Beerus saw that, Beerus saw the smoke clear but he saw a figure was standing right next to Goku and he could have swore he saw a face of a Namek as he said, A Namek? What the hell is going on? Who is that? And once when it went, Goku got back up as he went and from there he looked towards Beerus and said, There's no way Beerus, I'm gonna lose right here. I could now feel the power that Zalama was telling me about. It's time for me to end this! With that, Goku went and he screamed. <laughs> Goku has now done it as he managed to go and push himself by transforming into a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, formerly known as Super Saiyan Blue. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku has now gone and done what no one thought he would do and that is he has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan known as Super Saiyan Blue. This is Goku's very first time wielding this power as everyone was shocked to witness his power while Beerus had no idea just what Goku did and from there Zalama smiled and said, hmm, this is where you know you effed up Beerus, now I'm gonna let my student handle you. As he disappeared, what the hell, who is that Namek and how does he know my name? But his key feel very similar. It's like I sensed it before, but I just cannot pinpoint where. And what the hell have you become, Saiyan? 
I see your power has massively increased, but don't think that before Beerus could say another word, Goku instantly came right in front of him as he gave him a death stare and said, You have no idea what kind of power I got within me, Beerus. You messed up the moment you let me use this power, and now that I have used it, it's over! With that, Goku went and kneed Beerus right in his chest, getting him to be gassing for air and from there Goku uppercut him as he got sent flying close to the sun. Beerus managed to stop himself as he chased right towards Goku and from there he began to attack Goku with everything he's got as both of their fists clashed with one another and they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, Goku and Beerus was able to go and get all the planet to be disturbed as it began to shake and create a vacuum in space and it would end up eventually erasing everything. Whis and Vados went to check it out along with Champa as they went and they used a barrier to stop that from happening while Champa was extremely shocked to see that Goku was in a Super Saiyan Blue state attacking Beerus. Beerus went and he tried to kick Goku but Goku dodged it and from there Goku went and kneed him right in his guts, getting him to gasp for air and from there Goku went and punched him across his face as he got sent flying. Beerus then charged right back towards Goku and he began to hit him with everything he's got but Goku was dodging his attack really easily and said, Come on Beerus, is that all the power you got? Hera thought that you using this new Ultra Instinct power of yours were able to finally destroy me. What happened to that? <laughs> you talk a lot saying, there's no way I'm gonna lose. With that, Beerus went and charged again towards Goku as he tried to hit him but this time Goku went in an offensive mode as Goku went and decked him across his face and from there Goku chased right after Beerus as he kicked him across his stomach as he got sent flying meters away. Beerus managed to go and flip over as he came right next to Goku and from there Champa looked towards him and said, Come on brother! You're being such a disappointment! How will you let a mortal beat you? Shut up! Why don't you come and fight him yourself, Champa? I would gladly do that if you weren't losing so badly! He's a fat ass, I don't want to fight him. I'm here to fight you Beerus, you came to challenge me, and you even bothered to go and threaten to destroy this world? <laughs> I must admit saying, your power is really great, but tell me, who is that Namek I saw? Him? He's my master. His name is Zalama. What? Z Zalama? You mean the one that created the Super Dragon Balls? Him? Yes, that's the one. Why? But impossible. Zalama. Before Beerus can finish his sentence, Goku chased right after him as he went and began to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus, despite the fact that he is using the Ultra Instinct power, came short compared to Goku's Super Saiyan God power because this isn't no ordinary Super Saiyan Blue Goku. This is the Super Saiyan Blue Goku with the multiplier of training with Dai Shinkan and even training with the Super Dragon his entire life allowing him to have a huge boost to his power level, thus getting him to become a lot stronger than the cannon and because of that he was able to finally go and beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus was trying to do everything he can to hold his own against Goku but when Goku went and transferred to his Super Saiyan Blue, it was game over as Goku went and he uppercut him and from there he powered up a Kamehameha wave, a trick he learned from Master Roshi and he aimed it right towards Beerus. Beerus went and he tried to hold it off but he couldn't as the wave hit him head on and from there Beerus passed out. Goku did not want to kill Beerus, he just wanted to knock him out as he managed to go and defeat Beerus once and for all. Champa was extremely shocked and scared as he couldn't believe it while Whis couldn't believe it or even imagine that a mortal would beat Beerus but at the end of the day he knew that this mortal isn't no ordinary mortal. He is the mortal that trained with his father Dai Shinkin nevertheless and was raised by the Super Dragon. With that Whis and Vados came towards Goku as Goku went and looked right towards him and said, you guys look a lot like Daishinken. Well, that's because we're angels just like him. Yes, and I must admit, your powers are amazing. Goku, I'm the one who trained Lord Beerus, and you could say I am the strongest angel here, not including my father. Excuse me, Whis. From what I remember, I used to beat you. Yeah, when I was small, sis. If we go now, you know I'll lace your ass. But anyway, Goku, how would you like to come and train with me? I'll actually love to help you get a lot stronger. After all, my father told me about the war that's going to happen and we can definitely use your help. We'll do everything we can to make sure you are the one to help us in this war. What do you say? Well, yeah, why not? I mean, if I could train with you guys, then that would be amazing. 
But also, I want to bring some of my friends to come train with us too. I could see this was Namekian in there, his name is Piccolo. He has a lot of potential, and if he was able to train with you, his power will be skyrocketed. Well then, bring him along. The more the merrier. <laughs> well, sounds good then, thanks. While that was happening, they came right back to Earth as Beerus woke up and from there, he couldn't believe that Goku was this strong as he congratulated him and from there he looked towards Goku and said, I'm so shocked to know that Zalama is your master and even the Grand Priest. You're one tough bastard, but don't worry, one day I'll beat you. You have motivated me to train and thank you so much. For that, I'm going to do everything I can to train myself so I can beat you once and for all. <laughs> well then, alright, I'm looking forward to our rematch, Beerus. <laughs> With that, Goku told Piccolo that Whis is going to train him as Raditz and Nappa heard that and they also were very amazed with Goku's power. They couldn't believe it and they asked Goku if he can train them too since they want to get stronger. Goku then decided to ask Whis if that's okay as Whis agreed and from there Goku wanted to know their story more about why they came here since they got interrupted by Beerus. Raditz and Nappa then told Goku about how they were supposed to come here with Vegeta but a man with the hood was the one who intervened and he kidnapped Vegeta and left them be. When they heard that a man in a hood was doing that, Goku then resembled that as he remembered that Frieza mentioned about a man in a hood and said, That is weird. I remember my battle with Frieza. He also mentioned about this too, that a man in a hood was doing this. Are you sure, Goku? Yeah, I'm sure. And Raditz, are you also sure that it's the man with the black hood who did this? Yeah, I cannot forget that, obviously. Hmm, I must go talk to my father. I'll be right back. Whis and Vados went and they made their way towards Zeno's world. Once when they got there, they didn't met with Dai Shinkan, as Dai Shinkan was told about what he has heard from Whis and Vados about a black hooded man and from there he got worried and said, Don't tell me. Are you for real? Are you telling me that this black hooded man is actually a real thing? Well, yeah, but father, why do you seem so tripped out? Because Whis, the one that killed your grandfather, my father, was a man in a hood. But my father managed to steal him away, and now that he has resurrected, this means this is a doom for all the angels. Oh my god, you mean he was that strong to kill grandfather? Yes, and he is strong enough to do the same with us. Alright then, I want you to finish up your training with Goku and I'm going to continue training him. I'm also going to go and try to see what I can to toughen up our army. Looks like this battle that's going to happen is actually really serious. That means this war is the end of all the angels. If this man in the hood is the same guy that I feared. Well then father, we gotta do everything we can to be prepared for that. Well then start training Goku. Go! With that, Whis has come right back to Earth as Vados and Champa said their goodbye and they went right back to Universe 6, continue to train Hit and other people so they could be ready for the war. With that, the next day has happened as Whis came to pick up Goku, Raditz, Nappa and Piccolo and now they all made their way towards Beerus' world. Once when they got there, Whis has already told Beerus about what Dai Shikin told him as Beerus was really scared so he decided to join Goku in his training spree so he can help him get stronger and help himself to get stronger so he could be part of the war as their training with Whis has begun and as you know it, 6 months has passed since Whis begun training Goku, Piccolo, Raditz, Nappa but he didn't do it alone. He called the help as he brought Miris, another angel in training with him to go and train them as Miras was the one who helped Raditz and Nappa while Whis continued training with Goku and Piccolo. While that was happening, far in the galaxy, the black hooded man has arrived with the rest of his team so far as he looked towards him and said, it is obvious by now, I'm pretty sure the Grand Priest knows about us and he knows about what we're trying to do, but that won't stop our mission. Now I want you two guys to go assemble to Universe 7. But first thing is first, destroy this Dragon Ball that's there. They got three Dragon Balls, Perunga, Shenron, and even Tarambo. Start with the weak one and make your way up towards Shenron and then Perunga. Heart, I want you to go and lead this team. And are you ready now? You're going to be fighting with Goku. I'm ready to do whatever I can, my lord. I'll do everything to serve you. Very well then. And once when you guys are there, my best student will help you guys when the time comes. Go and don't disappoint me. Very well then. We'll go and make sure we end their lives. But I strongly recommend you go and send Fu while I begin searching for the universe seed. Well yeah, that is a good idea. Okay then, go Fu. Take these two and make your way towards universe 7. And I want Goku's head to me. Bring him back dead. You got it, my lord. If you're not a subscriber, 
What are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Six months has passed since Goku and the rest of the Z Fires has arrived to Weezer's world and they did nothing but train really hard as they're trying to do everything they can to break their previous power level to get even stronger. Especially knowing that the war is just in the corner right in front of them, they have to do everything they can to get stronger. While Raditz and Nappa continue to train with an angel and they got to get new powers which they never thought existed and they couldn't comprehend just how powerful they got in, their one and only goal was to find where Vegeta is and to try to bring him back. As they have no idea where Vegeta went, all they know is that he has been kidnapped by the hooded man. Goku on the other hand continued to train with Whis and even Miris as his power continued to grow at a rapid rate. While everyone's continued training and all, Goku was meditating with Beerus and with even Piccolo. While they're doing that, they then sense that Champa has arrived to Beerus' world but he wasn't alone. Goku opened his eyes and said, mm, I see you have arrived Hits. It's been a while, huh? With that, Goku went right towards where Hit was and saw Hit has also come with Champa and Vados. Hit looked towards Goku and said, Goku, it's been a while. I'm glad to see you're here in your own destroyer world too, huh? And I'm glad to see you have become a destroyer's apprentice. And wow, Hit, I could sense you got God Key. Amazing. You want to go for a spar to see where you stand? <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? I want to see just how powerful I am compared to you. The last time we fought, you beat me because you had God Key, but now I have even the playing field. Oh yeah? Are you so sure? Did Champa tell you about who the Super Dragon Ball is? The Super Dragon Ball? I mean, yeah, we're having our universe. Only mine and your universe has the Super Dragon Balls. That is right. And do you know that I am his student? What? You've been trained by the Super Dragon Balls? And not just that, did Vados fail to mention that I am also the apprentice of her father? Wait, you train with the Grand Priest? Mm hmm. Ah, uh, look at this guy, always trying to flex, I see. Well then, let's see what you got then. Alright then, bring it on. With that, both Goku and Hit went into a ready position and with that, their battle has begun. Hit went and he powered up his key as Goku without wasting any time went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. <laughs> Okay, Hit, this power you have never seen before. This is something stronger than the red power that you saw of mine. You can call this Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, wow. And I could definitely tell it's much stronger, especially I could sense how powerful it is. But I'm not. Before Hit can finish his sentence, he saw Goku went and he charged right towards him as Hit did the same. And with that, both of them rushed right towards one another. And once when their power clashed, they created a huge solar flare for everyone's eyes as it was the after effect of their fists clashing one another and with that once when everyone could see and the glare went down they saw Goku was being the lights out of Hit. Despite the fact that Hit has trained with Champa and even Vados it still doesn't compete to Goku training with the Grand Prix and even Zalama and now with Beerus, Miris and even Whis as Goku continued to go and attack Hit and from there he went and one shot him towards the ground. Hit fell down as he passed out. Once when he got up he then saw Goku was looking over him and he said, Well, Hit, I can see your power has definitely increased a lot. <laughs> Shut up, you bastard. You just love to show off, huh? I see you easily one shot at me. <laughs> well, I will admit I did use my full power. Oh, yeah? Well, I could tell everybody that I have been beaten by you in your full power then. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Hit. As Goku and Hit shook each other's hand, and before they could continue the conversation, everyone sensed that Universe 7 started to get a lot of high power level entering, especially around Earth, as Goku stopped and said, What the? What is that? Goku. Zalama? Is that you? Yes. Something has happened to one of our brethren. Our brethren? What do you mean? Tarambo has been destroyed. Oh no! Are you serious? Yes. You need to do something about that, Goku. Alright, I'll be right back. 
I need you to try teleport me towards that planet. All right then. As Goku has teleported right towards planet Cerulean and he saw the Dragon Balls were cracked as Tarambo's dead body was lying there lifelessly. With that, Goku saw Granola has come as he was a kid and said, Hey, you're the master, right? Alright, Granola. I forgot about you, but wait, why is your power so strong? Ugh, before those guys came and destroyed Tarambo, Granola requested for me to use Tarambo to wish for him to become the strongest in the universe. In return, it cut his lifespan in half. The strongest in the universe and you're just a Okay, I know exactly what to do. Zalama, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you please use the Super Dragon Balls to wish for Gornola to be a full-fledged adult now? I need him to be my apprentice and he could definitely help out with this war. Sounds like a plan. Few seconds later, everyone saw Gornola has now finally transformed as he has grown into his adult form and with that he looked towards Goku and said, Master, was this your doing? Yes, it was. I got the Super Dragon Balls to get you much older. Come on with me, Gornola. Now that I can see you're already really experienced and really well trained, I guess this Tarambo really did his thing. Let's go. We need to fight. Okay then, Master. Let's do it. Goku then told Zalama to teleport him back to Beerus World as he saw that Supreme Kai was already there and with that, he brought news that three major power level has entered on planet Earth. Upon hearing that, I got Goku and everyone concerned, so they all decided to go and teleport towards planet Earth. Once in Supreme Kai 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 then, they have now arrived as Goku saw that Earth was intact but from there they could sense heavy power level surrounding planet Earth and with that someone began to laugh and say, I see you have finally decided to show yourself, huh? Well then Goku, it's good that you're here, cause we are here to kill you. <laughs> I cannot wait to destroy you, let me be the first to kill him master. No, I want to be the first to kill him myself. What the? I take it you all work for that hooded guy, huh? <laughs> He's our master, you can say. My name is Fu, this is Brawly and Cumber, the two deadliest Saiyan to ever exist in the multiverse. And now you guys are going to know what it feels like to know death. Is that so? Well then, let me see what you guys got then. I'm not backing off, but tell me, where is that coward of your hooded guy? And let me guess, you guys are the one who destroyed the Dragon Balls on planet Cerulean. That is me. You're right about that. Now it's time for you to die. Sir, Goku, let me handle this clown. I would like to kill him. Is that so? You want to fight the great food? Then bring it on. Oh, with pleasure, I will. <laughs> then which one do I get to kill? Hey, I told you before Broly, you could have the rest of those ants. I'm gonna go and kill Goku myself. Granola, I want you to go and help out Piccolo, Raditz, and Nappa. Help them fight Broly? I'm gonna go and fight this Cumber guy. <laughs> Just what I thought. Show me what you got then, Goku. I cannot wait to devour you. Oh yeah? Well, before Goku could say another word, Broly went and he screamed. Bring it on then, I'm gonna enjoy killing all of you here. With that, Goku saw that Cumber has come right in front of him as he dead Goku crossed his face, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. But from there, Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue. Okay then, I can see your power is really deadly, bring it on then. With that, Piccolo and everyone could sense just how powerful Broly was, as Broly was definitely out of control but he wanted nothing but blood. From there Broly went and he took Piccolo and he smashed him towards the ground. Raditz and Nappa went and they tried to hit him off but Broly easily brushed him away and from there Nappa and Raditz looked towards each other and they decided to go and use their god form as they went and screamed.
Nappa and Raditz has now transformed into their Super Saiyan Blue. As they're ready to go and put an end to where it's Cumber, but they went alone. Piccolo went and he decided to use his God Key as he tapped in with his power and now he went and he transformed into his full power. <laughs> Alright then, let's do this Nappa, Radis, you ready? And how about you Granola? I've been ready from day one, let's go then. With that, they all went and charged right towards Broly, as Broly smiled and from there all their power clashed with him and they were going at it. Hit in the other hand went and he stared towards Fu, while Fu smiled and said, You and I have something in common, we could control time. Is that so? Well then, I'd like to see you try to control my time. From there, Hit went and rushed right towards Fu as he striked him right across his face. Cumber on the other hand saw Goku has transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue as he smiled and said, So that's the power you want to use to fight me? <laughs> okay then, bring it on. With that, Cumber went and rushed towards Goku but Goku dodged his attack as he kicked him right across his face, getting Cumber to be sent flying meters away. Before Cumber can get up, Goku has arrived right next to him as he took him and he kneed him right in his spine and punched him directly towards his throat as Cumber fell right towards the ground. Cumber then got up and saw that he needs to use more power if he wants to beat Goku, so he decided to go and use his full power as he went and he used his Super Saiyan 3 power. Okay then, I must admit I have caught you off guard, but now let's see if you could catch me off guard. Tch, who said my guard has been caught off? With that, Goku got decked right across his face without seeing it coming as he got sent flying and from there he did a backflip and said, Alright, that's you wanna fight? Then let's do it! If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. The intense battle with the Z Fighters has begun as Zalma has sent his goons to fight them and with that the Z Fighters are doing everything they can to make sure they are able to stop Zalma's goon. With that Broly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan as he continued to attack the Z Fighters but Piccolo went and he used his god form allowing him to transform to his full power and at the same time Raditz and Nappa who has trained with Whis for 6 months and managed to pick up god key transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue and they aid Piccolo and from there Granola had decided to come and help them in their battle. Broly went and he chokeslammed Raditz and Nappa as he began to squeeze the life out of them but from there Piccolo went and he striked him right in his back, getting Broly to be sent 5 meters away. Broly then got up and saw that Piccolo standing there and said, I'm gonna make sure I kill you right here. Oh yeah? Well then bring it on. Broly rushed right towards Piccolo as he began to hit him with everything he's got but Piccolo was dodging all of his attack like if there were nothing. From there. Granola has aid Piccolo as he managed to go and hit Broly right in his vital spot, getting Broly to spit out blood. Broly was confused on what Granola did but one thing about Broly is that his power increases as he fights and from there he got really angry as Piccolo went and powered up a special beam cannon and he aimed it right towards Broly. Broly went and powered up an eraser cannon and aimed it towards Piccolo's attack as his attack wave got dispersed and from there Broly rushed right towards him and he was trying to strike him again but then Granola went and strike Broly again right in his vital spot, getting Broly to be completely mobilized and he fell right towards the ground and from there Granola and Piccolo went and started to beat the shit out of him. As you know it, they went and managed to power up a massive attack and aimed it right towards Broly as attack hit him at Han and he died right there. Thanks to Granola using the Dragon Ball to wish for himself to become the strongest in the universe, it allowed him to overpower Broly with the help of Piccolo and they managed to shut him down once and for all. Hit's battle has begun with Fu, as Fu smiled and said, I know exactly who you are. You are Hit from Universe 6 the Assassin. You're one fascinating creature. I have been doing a lot of experiment and investigation on you. And what? Experiment and investigation, damn. You're one creep ass guy. 
Well, you can call me whatever you want. It is good for my research. Well then, how about you go and research this? Head went and he used his time skip as it instantly came right in front of Fu and with that he went and strike him right in his vital spot. Fu was shocked to see that Hit was able to move really fast and that that didn't come up in his data but he wasn't actually scared. He knew that he still had a lot more power. With that Fu went and rushed right towards Hit as he summoned his sword and he began to hit him with everything he's got. Hit continued to dodge all of Fu's attack as Fu went and he used a time prison, something similar to what Hit has and he managed to get Hit into chains and said, this is where you messed up. I am now going to chain you up and now with that, Hearts is going to investigate and take out all your IQ. You'll be nothing but a lifeless soul while we have your knowledge and power. Is that so? They then saw that Hit went and he managed to break the chain as he looked towards him and said, that was the most pathetic time prison you could ever put me into. This is what you call time prison. With that, Hit went and he powered up his fist as he managed to put the Fu in a time prison, getting to be completely paralyzed and he couldn't even move. Fu had no idea what Hit did as Hit looked towards him and said, This is where you know you messed up, buddy. Now die. Hit went and powered up a blast and he aimed it right towards Fu as the blast hit him head on and he died right there. They managed to take out two out of the three that were there as Goku and Cumber were going back and forth. Cumber went and he managed to uppercut Goku, getting to be sent flying high in the air but from there Goku went and he strike Cumber right in his chest as he fell right towards the ground but he got robbed quickly and from there he chased after Goku as Goku did the same and their power clashed as both of them proved to be equally tied. Goku was really impressed and said, wow, I'm impressed you're almost as strong as me. I have trained with the most strongest and powerful being and warrior in this universe or you could say in the multiverse but yet, here you are able to match all of my moves. You think that's impressive? I'll show you what impressive is. Cumber went and he began to power up a blast as Goku saw that that wave was strong enough to destroy almost the entire universe. That's how powerful the blast was as he literally put everything he had right towards the attack and from there he aimed it. But before he could hit Goku, Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Cumber's attack as Piccolo came to help Goku and he powered up a special beam cannon and with that hits came and he also powered up his attack and they managed to disperse Cumber's attack. Goku smiled and said, Looks like you're all alone, Cumber. <laughs> Coward! Are you telling me you're gonna fight me single-handedly instead of one-on-one? -on -one? Well, you did say that you want to win this war. It is a war, so this is how war works. Let's go! With that, Goku, Piccolo, and Hit went and they rushed right towards Cumber as they began to beat the shit out of him. Cumber was completely powerless to do anything since it was three against one. And not just that, since he is equally tied with Goku, he had to worry about fighting Piccolo who is massively strong in this what if compared to the cannon and he had to worry about fighting with Hits. You don't want to mess with Hits when he's mad, he is an assassin for a reason. As Hits decided to go and use one of his moves to kill Cumber instantly and from there he decked him right in his forehead as it got right towards his brain and then managed to paralyze it but Goku went and he powered up a one hand Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards Cumber's stomach getting the entire stomach to be blown out while Piccolo powered up a special beam cannon and that is how they managed to kill Cumber once and for all. Goku and his friends managed to go and put an end towards this as they were kind of worn out but at the same time they were impressed to see that the masked man's best warriors didn't stood a chance against him and just when they thought it was over they didn't hear someone laugh and say <laughs> do you really think this is the end of your battle you still gotta face me. And don't forget about me. What? Who are you guys? And whoa! His power is so amazing! V what? No! V v Vegeta? Huh? No way! Vegeta? <laughs> Hello, Nappa Radis. I see you weaklings managed to go in peril with Kakarot at the end, huh? And you, Kakarot, you have been the talks of the year. Everybody wants your head, especially the one who trained me. So you're Vegeta they talk about. I thought you were kidnapped by the masked man. Huh, <laughs> he was actually my master. He trained me with everything he's got. Made me this powerful. 
to see how strong I am. Vegeta and his base went and he easily one-shotted Raditz, getting him to pass out instantly. Nappa was shocked as he tried to go attack Vegeta, but Vegeta did the same, getting Nappa to pass out. You see Kakarot? This is what you're going to be fighting. Alright, I had enough of this shit. Is that so? Then what do you think you're going to do? Tch! Like hell, you'll see what we'll do. Listen guys, I want you two to handle that guy right there. I'm gonna handle Vegeta. Are you sure? Yes, I got this. Now go! Alright Vegeta, I see you won't go back down without a battle, then that's what you're gonna get. A battle to a death. Ha! <laughs> you're not even worthy to have a battle to the death with me, Kakarot. I'll make this so quick and fast. You have no idea what came at you. Vegeta went and he already transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue and with that, he went and rushed right towards Goku. As Goku did the same and the power clashed at one another as they were going at it back and forth. Goku went and he struck Vegeta across his face while Vegeta went and did the same and with that Goku saw that Vegeta's power was just like Cumber's. At a Super Saiyan Blue, his power was equally tied with Goku while Goku was going with him and said, So I see you're just as strong as Cumber. Huh? How dare you compare me to that weakling? Don't forget I'm the one who actually helped him get his fat ass to be this strong. And you, you have no idea what kind of power I got within me. I'm still toying with you. Ha! Same here. How about you go and use more power then? Alright then, it's your funeral, Kakarot. Behold! <laughs> Vegeta has now gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as his power has increased massively and Goku was shocked to see that and said, Whoa, his power! You see Kakarot, this is the true power of mine. Well you could say, kinda true. I still got more power than this but this will be more than enough to end your ass right here. Before Goku can even blink, Vegeta came instantly right in front of him as he went and he decked Goku across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. Goku then got up and he charged right towards Vegeta as he began to hit him but saw none of his attacks were able to touch Vegeta. Despite the fact that he was in his Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta was still holding his own against Goku. From there, Zalama talked to Goku and said, Goku, do you need my help? I'm on my way. No, I got this, Zalama. Just stay back and watch. Ha! <laughs> What's the matter, weakling? You see how weak you are? <laughs> Is that so? As Goku has reverted right back to his base and said, You have no idea what kind of power I got too, Vegeta. I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the Saiyan that trained with four eternal dragons. Now let me show you one power which I have picked up. Oh yeah? And what is that? Goku has now gone and tapped into a power which he saw Beerus use and now it was his turn to use it. The Ultra Instinct. Goku after training with Whis and Mirrors was able to now finally tap into his Ultra Instinct power but it was since he was training with the Eternal Dragon, you could say it had some effect towards his power. This is the Ultra Instinct of Goku plus the Eternal Dragon's essence you can call. As Goku stared right towards Vegeta and said, Are you ready now Vegeta? You have no idea what kind of power I got. <laughs> oh, so someone's really glowy I see. Alright then bring it on clown, I'll still end your life. Is that so? Well then, let's see what you got. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Goku and Vegeta both use their full power right off the bat as Vegeta has transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution while Goku went and he used his Ultra Instinct power for the very first time. Upon using his Ultra Instinct power, Goku was able to easily wield it since he had a lot of time training with the Angel mastering this power and from there he looked towards Vegeta and said, Well then Vegeta, are you ready to begin this battle? T 
<laughs> I've been ready. You may be strong, but don't forget, I am the student of the Mask Man. You have no idea how powerful he is. And you have no idea how powerful I am, along with my masters. Let's do this. With that, their second round has begun, as both Goku and Vegeta stare to one another, and from there, their battle has begun. Vegeta went and rushed right towards Goku, as he tried to strike him, but Goku instantly dodged Vegeta's hit, and from there, he kneed him right in his stomach, getting Vegeta to gasp for air. Vegeta then got angry, as he went and he started to hit Goku non-stop, trying to do everything he can to land a decisive blow, but Goku inside his Ultra Instinct power was able to read all of Vegeta's move, as he continued to go and dodge each and every one of his attack like if they were nothing, and with that he was making sports out of Vegeta. While Goku was doing that, Hearts went and he decided to go and use the Universe Seed to end him once and for all, while Piccolo and Granola powered up a blast to aim it towards Heart, but from there, Heart managed to go and use the Universe Seed. Well then, what do you guys think? It is time I end you guys once and for all. Sure, keep dreaming. Yeah, what he said. Let's do this. With that, Granola went and rushed right to his heart, while Piccolo did the same and both of them power clashed with hearts as they're going at it back and forth. Heart went and he tried to uppercut Piccolo, but Granola went and caught him by his fist and he twisted it and from there Piccolo went and kicked him across his face. With Granola and Piccolo working as a team, they were able to hold their own against Heart who has used the universe seed. While Goku and Vegeta were continuing going at it, Vegeta was getting frustrated on why he couldn't attack Goku, and each time he hit Goku, Goku was able to easily dodge it, and from there Goku went and kneed Vegeta right in his face again, and from there he took him by his leg as he spinned him around and threw him miles away. Goku instantly came right behind Vegeta, and he striked him right in his spine, as Vegeta fell towards, towards the ground. Once when Vegeta got up, he had a little trouble getting up, Goku looked towards him and said, Come on, is that the all the power you got? How pathetic. Here I thought that you had more power than this. <laughs> you wish? You think you have more than enough power to end me? <laughs> think again, Cloud. You have no idea what kind of power I got within myself. After all, I am the student of the Mask Man. The man who all the angels and everyone fear is the reason why they got your scrawny ass to come and train with them. <laughs> Is that so? Well then, Vegeta, why don't you go and show me your true power that you got? Otherwise, you know you're going to lose against me inside this form. And when it comes to my masters, you have no idea how strong Master Zalama is and even Dai Shinkan. Those two can easily beat your mask man. Ha! Let's see if you try to beat me. Behold, my true power! Vegeta has now gone and transformed into his Ultra Ego, or you could call it Advanced Ultra Ego since he was able to get a huge boost to his Ultra Ego. Huh, <laughs> what's the matter Cloud? Never thought I had this type of power? I told you, you lost the moment I have arrived. Why do you think I was the trump card? My god, he isn't bluffing. His power is actually the real deal. Before Goku can blink, Vegeta came right in front of him as he striked him in his stomach getting Goku to gasp for air and with that, he went and uppercut Goku and aimed a final flash towards him. Goku couldn't react quick as the final flash hit him head on, getting his entire gi to tore up and from there Goku fell right towards the ground. Once when he did, Goku then got up as Vegeta was already there and said, What's the matter clown? I thought you said you had more power than this. Come and show me what you got. <sighs> you wish. Goku went and charged right towards Vegeta as he went for a hit but Vegeta went, dodged Goku's attack and from there he elbowed him across his face. Goku was in pain as Vegeta went and kicked him right in his spine, getting Goku to be sent flying towards the ground. Once when Goku got up, Vegeta looked towards him and said, You're too weak clown, you don't stand a chance against my power, I told you, I am unstoppable. <sighs> I see what kind of power you're talking about Vegeta, I must admit, it is far greater than my own power. Of course it is! You're just a clown! I'm the real Saiyan! You can call me Vegeta, the king of all Saiyan! <laughs> well, your majesty, you still don't know the type of power I got within myself. What you see now is just my ultra instinct. What do you mean? 
Let me show you the master version of this power. Goku has now gone and mastered his Ultra Instinct power. Well, he has actually mastered it when he was training with Whis and Mirrors, but he has finally displayed his power, which he has used, called Master Ultra Instinct. Vegeta was shocked while Goku looked towards him and said, Okay, Vegeta, now let the real battle begin. Before Vegeta can blink, Goku instantly came right in front of him as he striked him across his chest, getting to be sent flying meters away. Goku looked towards his right and saw that Heart was overpowering Granola and Piccolo and that he was left open so Goku quickly went and Lana decides to blow right on Heart's back, getting him to break one of the universe seed allowing Granola and even Piccolo to go and overpower Heart as they work as a team and they start to beat the shit out of him. Vegeta got up as he couldn't believe that Goku's hit was that strong and from there Goku looked towards him and said, what's the matter, cat got your tongue now? Huh, <laughs> you wish. I am the guy with this power, there's no way your little puny power will beat me. If it's so puny then come and show me what you got. Vegeta went and charged right towards Goku as Goku did the same and both the power clashed at one another and they were going at it back and forth. With each landing blow, Earth was in the brick of destruction as they continued to hit one another doing everything they can to overpower each other. From there Vegeta went and kneed Goku in his stomach while Goku went and punched Vegeta across his face and they kept this up for some time. Goku went and caught Vegeta's fist and he twisted it as he slapped him across his face while Vegeta fell towards the ground and that really hurt his pride so from there he went and powered up his fist as they were glowing with Hakai and he started to hit Goku trying to make sure he could hit his vital spot which would get Goku's vital spot to be Hakai and he will die right there but Goku's master ultra instinct power was too fast for Vegeta to touch him as Goku was dodging all of them non-stop like child's play and from there Goku went and he powered up his key as he kicked Vegeta in his face and from there he rushed right towards him and he started to beat the shit out of him. Vegeta was trying to do everything he can to overpower Master Ultra Instinct Goku but this is Master Ultra Instinct Goku with Dragon Essence allowing him to be way stronger than what Vegeta could ever comprehend. And from that Goku went and he began to attack him nonstop as he powered up a final destruction wave. An attack which he has learned from the Super Dragon and Zalama and he aimed it right towards Vegeta. Vegeta went and he tried to caught it but it was too much for him and from there he got sucked in towards the blast and he died right there. Goku using his Master Ultra Instinct power was far stronger than the masked man's best man as he didn't stood a chance against Goku's power and from there Goku saw that Granolo has also went and killed Heart along with Piccolo and from there they are completely worn out. Goku was starting to get worn out as he started to breathe heavily and said, well, it looks like we did it guys. We beat his best man. Now the only one left is the masked man himself. Is that so? So you think you can defeat me, huh Goku? I have been waiting for this moment to finally end your life. You are the hopes of all the angels and internal dragons. I'll crush that hope. He is here. Let's go Whis. Vados, now. With that, Dai Chicken has instantly arrived towards the battlefield and saw the masked man was standing right before them and said, So you're the one who brought war against us, huh? Oh, if it isn't Dai Shinken, the phony Grand Priest. What do you mean my phony? Who do you think you are talking to? And plus, you just saw what Goku did to your best man, and he has a far more greater power than that. Whis is right. Hey guys, I say we end his life right here. Ha! <laughs> Bring it if you can. With that, Whis went and used his staff to heal Piccolo and Granola as Dai Shiken told Whis to lend a hand towards Goku and the others and from there, they all went and rushed right towards the masked man as Goku went and kicked him but the masked man dodged and grabbed his fist and he was about to twist it but Whis went and striked him across his face. Piccolo went and grabbed him from his back and had him in an arm lock and from there, Granola went and started to attack him in his vital spot. With that, the masked man went and he used a weird trick which made him to be disappear and he appeared right in front of them and he kicked him across their face. Goku went and striked the masked man right in his face as the masked man managed to dodge it and elbowed Goku. 
Daishin and saw that the way the masked man's moving and fighting is very similar, and from there, they saw Shenron has appeared out of nowhere along with Perunga. As Goku saw that Zalama is here to help them, and from there, Zalama has arrived with the Super Dragon. Well then, you have declared war against us. We're gonna make sure we end your life here and now. It's good to see you again, Zalama. <laughs> you all are weak. I'd send my best man and you guys killed him, so that gives you the- Before he could finish his sentence, he saw Goku came right in front of him with a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right towards his face, getting his entire gi to tore up, and from there, everyone saw who the masked man was. Well then. I see you have found out my true identity after all. No. What? F father? But, but how? What? You're saying the masked man was your father this entire time? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. What? So you're telling me that this guy was your father this entire time, Daishinkin? He was a hooded guy? I have no idea. Uh, what? Father? <laughs> it's been a while, boy. I'm not a boy. I hate it when you call me that. After all, look what I have done with you being gone. I managed to make sure this multiverse is going in a good way. I even took care of all these angels. Ha! <laughs> you done nothing but serve a weakling Omni King. I'm here to make sure I end all of that. But, Father, why? What made you become this evil? <laughs> That's none of your concern. What matter is that I'm gonna destroy all you angels, and not to mention, I'm gonna kill all the destroyers and splash you, Goku. You have been one of the mortals that caught my interest. I never thought there'll be someone as strong as you. That is good. I got some reinforcements to come here and kill you all. You may have taken one of my best men, but I still got two more powerful warrior, far stronger than this weakling that you killed. I knew he was pathetic. He would die by Goku. But one thing I know for sure is I'm gonna end Goku's life while you guys fight with these right here. Come out, you guys. <laughs> it will be my pleasure. I cannot wait to kill them. Hmm. <laughs> Allow me to introduce you to Cell Max. I have found him inside your own planet, Goku. Apparently you have a lot of enemies, huh? The Red Ribbon Army wanted to destroy your Earth and it turns out he was their main trump card. I stole him, and I turned him into mine. And now look at him. His power is something you'll never comprehend. <laughs> that is right. What the? Who the hell is this guy? And not to mention, I have another warrior far stronger than even him. Come out. Yes, my lord. This is Jared. I have been watching him since he was a baby. His power is something no one can ever imagine. Now, are you ready to die, boy? Father, I don't know what to say. How could you do this? What went wrong? What made you so evil? Before anything could happen, everyone saw Zeno has arrived along with his guards, as they were all shocked to see that Zeno has come, and from there Zeno saw the old Grand Priest and said, So you have returned after all. I thought you died! <laughs> there that football is! It's time I finally get rid of you! Before anything could happen, everyone saw that Daishinkin's father went, caught Zeno by his neck, and from there he stabbed him, as he managed to kill Zeno right in front of everyone. Zeno's guard couldn't believe what they saw, as they went and rushed right towards Daishinkin's father and they tried to hit him, but from there he went and easily dodged their attack, as he shined a blast right towards them and they have been exploded getting him to die right there. Everyone couldn't believe just how powerful he was as Daishinken got angry and from there he said, Now that you killed the Omni King, 
There's nothing stopping my hand. All right then, I'm gonna make sure I end you myself, father. Sure, you're not alone. I'm also gonna end this bastard. After all, you came to me from the very start. For this reason, now let's end it together. Very well, Zalma, let's do it. Ha! <laughs> the Super Dragon Ball creator wants to fight me? I'm kinda honored, but before you do, I cannot risk you using your pet and try to get me off my guard. With that, he went and he created a scythe with his hand as he slashed it and he ended up killing the Super Dragon. Once when everyone saw the Super Dragon died, Goku got really upset and said, No! How could this bastard do that? Stop wasting any time, let's do this, Zalama. I'm right behind you. With that, Dai Shaken and Zalama went and they charged right towards his father as their battle has begun. Goku's about to go in hell, but from there, Jaren came right in front of him as he went and pushed Goku and said, Your battle is with me. Now let's see what you got. <laughs> Alright then. With that, Goku went and rushed right towards Jaren as he kneed him right in his stomach, getting him to gasp for air, and from there he punched him across his face. Jaren did a backflip as he knew that Goku's power could be this amazing, and from there he decided to go and use his full power from the start as he went and screamed. Jaren has now gone and used his limit breaker as he was able to now go and use his full power against Goku and with that he charged right towards him and he started to attack Goku. Goku saw that Jaren's power has increased so much compared to the Jaren he was before as Jaren began to hold his own against Goku. With that, Cell Max went and he was about to aid him but from there Piccolo went as he went and shined a blast right towards him but it saw it did nothing. But from there, the rest of the angels came to aid Piccolo as their battle has begun with Cell Max and they started to attack him. Cell Max was after all very boosted since he did train with the very first Grand Prix allowing his power to be exponentially high and from there he began to go and attack them back as he was holding his own but Piccolo and Granola worked together along with the angels and they managed to go and attack Cell Max. Dai Shinken and Zalama were working as a team as they both went and charged right towards Dai Shinken's father and with that they managed to land a blow on him. Dai Shinken's father was only toying with them as he got right back up and he charged right towards them and he started to attack them. Dai Shinken on the other hand was holding his own as he was able to hold off his father and everyone saw just how powerful Dai Shinken's father was but they also witnessed just how strong Dai Shinken was. Goku on the other hand and was going back and forth with Jaren. As the power continued to clash with one another, but Goku saw that this is the time for him to use all his power to put an end towards this. Since Dai Shinken and Zalama is fighting Dai Shinken's father alone, he needs to go and help out. Dai Shinken saw that Goku went and used 100% of his Master Ultra Instinct power as Jiren went and charged right towards Goku and he started to owe a lot of blasts towards him. Goku managed to dodge all those blasts as he instantly came right in front of Jiren and he jammed him right in his guts getting Jaren to feel that his entire stomach was getting pierced by Goku's arm and from there Goku threw a blast right inside his body as a blast went and it pretty much destroyed Jaren getting him to fall towards the ground and he you could say died after all who could survive such a blast like that that shit is cruel Goku decided to go and help out Daishigen and Zalama as he charged right towards it and from there he saw Daishigen's father had both of them in a the headlock as he threw Zalama towards the ground and he began to go and attack Daishigen Goku went and he needed him right in his back but saw that it did nothing as he looked towards Goku and said Your time will come once you're ready. Right now I'm dealing with this small boy right here. He went and decked Goku. That deck was so strong that it got Goku to lose his Master Ultra Instinct and he went right back to his base getting it to be sent flying meters away. Goku was breathing heavily as Shenron and Purunga came towards Goku and with that they healed him. Thanks guys. Listen Goku. There is a way for you to beat him. Wait, what do you mean? Well, if you unleash your true potential, your power will increase a lot. That won't be we know for sure. But, not just unleash your true potential, you need to also get our power within you. We want to fuse with you. Take us and use us as you wish. At least take me. Perunga? No. Look, Goku. 
we are very proud to call you our friend. We want to do everything we can to help you guys win this war. But one of our main has died right now. We don't want the same fate to happen with us. It's the reason why we're gonna share with you through our power. Once we need to do, you will be able to also wield this power. It will allow you to have an exponentially high level. This is the power you need to defeat his father, otherwise we're all doomed. So this power is gonna help me beat him? Of course. With your potential unleashed, which we can do easily, your power gets so high, but with us giving you our essence, it will allow you to use autonomous dragon force. That power will give you the power you need to end him. Okay then, let's do this guys. But we need to do it quick. I can see Daishinken and his father are going at it and he's losing. With that, the Dragon Balls begun to work on Goku as they went and unleashed his potential and they begun giving their essence to him. While that was happening, the rest of the angels managed to go and kill Cell Max as they came to aid their father and fight their grandfather. So Daishinken's father looked at all of them and said, Tch, So you weaklings want to fight me? Bring it on! With that, all the angels went and charged right towards him as Weez went and used his staff to hit him in his head, but those went and she used her staff to power up an attack, while Margarita went and she also powered up another blast from her staff. Daishiken went and chased right after him as a blast hit him head on and from there Daishiken threw a blast right towards his own father and from there they saw all the angels power up an attack and aimed it at him. The attack came right head on, getting him to be sent flying meters away but once the smoke cleared they saw he wasn't phased by it. Instead, he continued to toy with the angels. Have you guys forgotten? You are part of me. I'm the one that created all of you guys. And because of that, none of you guys can hurt me. I am this unbeatable. Accept your fate and die. Otherwise, if you resist, it will be painful. Over my dead body. With that, Goku punched him across his face as he got sent flying meters away. Goku then threw in a blast right towards him as he tried to block it up, but it got his entire gi torn off. Not bad, Goku. What the hell did you do to your power? Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Are you ready to see what the real power I have? Sure. <laughs> the real power, huh? What the hell can- Before he could finish his sentence, Goku came right in front of him as he striked him across his face, getting to be sent flying meters away. He then managed to stop himself as Daishiken's father chased right towards Goku. Goku did the same and their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. With each landing blow, both of them were shaking the entire multiverse as universe were on the brink of destruction since they couldn't handle that much energy. Goku saw that his new potential unleashed surely helped him a lot, but it's still nothing compared to Daishiken's father, as Daishiken's father went and kneed Goku across his face, and from there he punched it. Goku got up and said, This is exactly what I expected, but you're lucky I have more power. How about I put an end to words this by using my autonomous dragon force? Yeah! After training with Daishinken and even the Zalama and the rest of the Super Dragon for almost his entire life, and from there Goku decided to get his potential unleashed and get some of the Dragon Essence, as he has finally gone and unleashed a new power called the Autonomous Dragon Force. This is Autonomous Dragon Force Goku, as he managed to absorb the Dragon Ball's essence and even get his potential unleashed. What the? What the hell have you done? <laughs> You think that because you have some power you can beat me? Oh, but if I were you, I would run away with this type of power. This is the power that even I myself is scared to use. It is so strong. <laughs> Shut up. There is nothing you could do. Before he could finish his sentence, he saw Goku caught him by his face as he scraped it right towards the ground and he threw him high in the air. Zalama was impressed on seeing what Goku did, while Daishiken's father managed to go and stop himself and said, Impossible! How could he do that to me? I'm here to make sure I put an end to words you once and for all. Daishinken's father, you are one evil bastard. Now die! 
Goku went and charged right towards him, as he did the same and the power clash one other, and they're going at it. With each landing blow, since Goku had the dragon essence within him, Shenron and Perugna would always guide him as they were telling him to where to hit on his vital spot which will help him go and be even more weak. Goku continued to go and use that weakness towards him as he got angry seeing that Goku was able to figure out his weakness and said, Not bad Saiyan, I could see why I feared you, it was good I did. What the hell is this, Dragon Force Instinct or some shit? It's called the Autonomous Dragon Instinct, and you're right. This Dragon Force power is amazing. It happens when you absorb two dragons within yourself and you get your potential unleashed. Now it's time I end you. Goku went and used more power as he chased right towards Daishiken's father and he began to overpower him, allowing him to finally beat the shit out of him. Despite the fact that he is the first Grand Priest and he has done everything he can to make himself stronger, Goku, after finally getting the power of Dragon Essence and his getting his potential unleashed, gave him this new form which allows him to overpower even Daishinken's dad. From there, Goku continued to beat him up as he threw him high in the air and he powered up a one-hand fist called Dragon Fist. But this fist was where three of the dragons come out, Shenron, Parunga, and even the Super Dragon, and they literally beat the shit and pretty much you could say, destroyed the entire vital spot of that opponent as he unleashed that blast right towards Daishinken's father and for that he got destroyed as he couldn't even breathe and from there Goku looked towards him and said, this is what happens when you mess with the Saiyan. Goku threw a blast right towards him and he died right there. Goku has finally done it by using his Dragon Force for the very first time, allowing him to overpower Daishiken's father and kill him as he managed to save the entire multiverse from his wrath and he managed to put an end towards his war once and for all, all thanks to his Dragon Force instinct. With that, everyone saw that the Super Dragon was just on the brink of a death and Goku quickly went and asked Parunga to use his wish to heal him up. Parunga made that wish happen and now the Super Dragon was fully restored. Zalama couldn't believe what Goku did as he was beyond impressed and Goku on the other hand, he decided to go right back to planet Earth to spend time with his new wife Launch as they gave birth to a boy named Jackie. He has the same hair color as his mother but he has his father's potential. Goku's goal was now to continue training his son and live in the dragon realm and spend time with the dragons and Zalama and when the universe needs his help, he'll always be there to use his dragon force instinct anytime. This is what I believe would happen if Goku was born and raised by Zalama. Thank you very much for watching this what if and supporting it, I greatly appreciate it for all you guys sticking out there watching this what if and giving a like and if you really enjoyed this full series please give a like, I greatly appreciate it and if you have enjoyed my discord server yet by clicking the link in the description below, click it now so you'll be the first to know when the next Z fighter in any upcoming events and even have a chance to talk with me in that server and if you haven't seen my backstory Goku T towards the origin hero of Z, watch it now, I guarantee you you're gonna love this series. I'm Goku T23 my Z fans and don't forget to subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23, help him get up to 10,000 subscribers and as always, have an insane day my T23 fans. Please everyone, subscribe to Goku T23, trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell, that way you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me click the bell, it's worth your time, and if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, you can always unsubscribe. <laughs>